This is Terror House Radio with Matt Forney and Brighton Proctor. Yeah, welcome to a Terror House Radio episode number 63. I'm Matt Forney, your charming and loquacious host and the founder and editor in chief of Terror House Press. With me, as always, is the world's only comedian, Brighton Proctor. How you doing, Brighton? Oh, see better oh, days. Oh shit! Man. I forgot. I I forgot. I shouldn't be asking you that anymore. Yeah, <laughs> seen better days, buddy. But it's okay. At least I didn't have a nine-hour flight with diarrhea. So yeah, I guess you we, know, count my blessings. We'll fucking get into the details of that. In oh, a bit. dude, I just thought about. I just thought of a really good saying. Uh, don't count your blessings before they hatch. Huh? <laughs> yeah, no. Don't That's count all one. your blessings before they hatch. Yeah, yeah, it's not been it's not been a great it's not been a great month really. It's been a month since we did one of these um, because I was traveling. It hasn't been a, it hasn't been a month. It's, um, it's three weeks. I'm pretty sure it's been more than that because uh, the one before you know, the one before <laughs> this obviously is the one you did with Sheree and Bosif. Which, by the way, I apologize to anybody that we offended or for the fact that it was three hours fucking long. It was just a live stream. Go and check me out on Trovo. Those are the types of streams that I do with my friends, uh, Bo and Sharia and anybody else that wants to ever come on. But yeah, three hours. It was it got away from me, Matt. It got away from me. I was gone for like 20 minutes during that. I don't know. Well, it's like I've only actually listened to it like the first hour because like I was listening to it when I put it up. Um, then a friend, my friend upstairs wanted to wanted to smoke and hang out. So I just went and hang, hung out with him. Uh, but yeah, then the show before that one, you weren't on that one. So yeah. Uh, oh, that's true. Oh, yeah. I didn't even I forgot about that. Yeah, that's true. So Go it's ahead, been about a month. Yeah. Um, God damn. This, was, this was not entirely this was not entirely planned. I mean. I was hoping to resume the show while I was I was traveling. I was in I was in Europe. Um, but what happened was uh, well, first one we had to skip was because I was flying that day. Then uh, no, no, I don't think that I don't think you were flying that. That was my fault because I went on a bender. No, that was the and week was after. Like, that was the week after. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, you you said you said you were going to do it at ten, and then right. you forgot I about the times. Yeah. Yeah, I had to go get fucking pay five. Send me money. I had to fucking pay five hundred and like fifty dollars for fucking tires. What a nightmare! Yeah, send us money. You can send. You can support no, the no. show and ask questions at streamlabs.com slash terrorhouse magazine. He, he only gives me ten percent of that. You get fifty percent. Well, fifty percent of nothing is nothing, isn't it? So, you know, go over to whatever my fucking streamlabs and PayPal. I don't know. Don't send streamlabs. They take too much out of it. I don't. I don't like. It. Just mail me a check. Yeah, like so some asshole is in his car right now listening to this. Uh, you know, after we record it and all of that, he's on his way to his fucking pizza delivery job or whatever, and he's not giving me any of that fucking. He's not giving me any of that money. This is free. People are jerks, man. I don't know. I need things for. I'm a Democrat now. Yeah, that's that's good to hear. Um, but yeah, send us send us money, send us money. Uh, but yeah, we you didn't do that show because of your tires. And then the week after that, we didn't do a show because uh, I had the first dying. of I had the first of two two food poisoning escapades. And then last week, well, I mean, I couldn't do a show because I was flying back, and here I am back in Mexico <laughs> suffering. Are you still? You got the you got the Ria still. Uh, yeah, I mean, it won't go, it won't fucking go away. Uh, I'll, I'm going to describe all this in, in TMI detail in hopes of chasing off what a uh, few people haven't been offended by the last show. Uh, I got, I got food poisoning from a kebab in Tbilisi, Georgia, which, uh, uh, what was his name? <laughs> bow, 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 bow. Terror house radio, radio, <laughs> radio. I, I got I got food poisoning from a kebab at a restaurant that had really bad service, and that cleared up relatively quickly. Like a week after that, I was back to normal. But what I think has hap ha happened is that it softened up my immune system for something more serious to get in. Because back on Sunday, the Sunday before last, I was back to throwing up and throwing up at both ends. <laughs> yeah, I hate butt puking. Yes, yes. Uh, I, I, boomers would say I had tranny problems. Wait, what? Who said that ever? You've never heard that phrase before? Like no, like old people will fucking say it. Like if you have tranny diarrhea, problems? that's tranny transmission. Uh, no, okay. Well, 
I don't know. I thought you meant maybe like one of them moved into your neighborhood or something. Nah, nah, it's not this kind of, that's not this kind of place, but yeah. Um, so yeah, I had, I had uh, virulent diarrhea and was throwing up and had a, uh, 13 hour flight back to Mexico. And then I had to drive for seven hours to get back to my apartment. So, and it's still going on. It's still going on. You know, when you told me, like you sent me a message, you were like, I have to fly and I'm not like a food poisoning. I thought about that for days and I would just it'd show up in my brain. I'd just be like, ah! I was just laughing, thinking of you traveling and just shitting water. <laughs> so please go into step by step what this was like to be a, a man of your stature on a international flight having to repeatedly bug everybody. Please tell me you were in like the window seat or something. Uh, I was, yeah, I was, I was in an aisle. I was in an aisle seat actually. Ah, oh, damn it. Which, uh, I was in one of the extra legroom seats, which turned out to be, uh, I forgot why I booked that, but it turned out to be a very smart decision. Um, well, I didn't get yelled, well, I didn't get yelled at uh, a couple of times for using the business class bathroom, which was like right ahead of me. Um, I had to walk to the economy class bathroom, which was much further away. Um, Wait, what did they say to you? And they said, that's the business class bathroom. You can't use that. So. Listen here, peon, <laughs> you fucking peasant. Get back there to the normal people's shitter. <laughs> I took I took a shit ton of uh, recid recidrol, which is a miracle fucking substance. But even that has its limits because uh, this is still going on. Um, if you're not familiar with this substance, it's probably because it's not sold in the U.S. Um, it's a uh, anti-diarrheal medication that uh, increases the fluid absorption of your intestines, so you know less of it's going out. Uh, I could take three of those in a day and I get damn near constipated, but it's a Band-Aid problem. It's a Band-Aid problem. <laughs> it's like a cork. <laughs> it just... yeah. Very well, it, it is helpful. And uh, I should also add, uh, when I was on the flight, you know when you get like diarrhea and it's mixed with gas and you don't yeah. know, it's and you don't know what's coming out is going to be gas or anything like that. Yeah, no one to hold them, no one to fold them. Yeah. And extremely loud farts, by the way. <laughs> this is probably this is probably the only time in my life I would have ever been grateful for the fact that we all have to wear masks on an airplane. That's oh, the yeah. only thing that kept people from smelling it. Oh yeah, no, I mean the last time I, I think I probably told you when I went to Reno, I was like, you can just fart on airplanes now. It fucking rules. You know they make you wear masks, but you can just fart. Nobody can hear it or smell it or anything. It's it's pretty good. You know I'm a gassy guy. I'm I'm a gassy guy, but. <laughs> <laughs> just... Yeah, it's like it's like I you know I got through the flight, you know, I you know, I landed in Mexico City, discovered that my ATM card had been shut off because every single transaction I made in Turkey had been flagged as fraud without my bank telling me. Well, and because you were in Turkey. They well, were like, that can't be real. He's why is he in Turkey? Well, they were still letting, they were flagging the transactions as fraud, but it's like still letting them go through. So like I was still allowed to withdraw money and stuff. It's just that all this was getting was getting added to an invisible ticker that decided to go off as soon as I needed money in Mexico. So yeah, I, I had to take a I had to take a you know a Uber to the bus station, uh, and from that point on, I had to hold it in for about nine hours because uh, in Mexico the bus stations uh, you have to pay to use them, and I didn't have any change, um, and uh, I wasn't about to use the. Uh, bathroom on the bus because it's probably disgusting yeah. wow yeah i mean all they eat over there is like and Cheritos and drink tequila so i mean i imagine it's probably not great yeah and then i you know then i got home to my apartment um well first off i had lost my keys in georgia so i had to arrange to have my uh my landlord <laughs> drop off spares got the spares walk in discovered my landlord had shut the power off I didn't know about all this. <laughs> he shut the power off, and uh, there'd been a uh, there'd been a storm. I'm guessing while I was gone because my washing room door was blown open. Which, uh, you know, my washing room door like has a, like a little false wall out to the uh, out to the garden, so it's like it's exposed to the elements. So 
I'm shocked I didn't have an insect infestation. And the coup de grace was when I walked into my bathroom and discovered a roach holocaust in the shower. Fucking rules, dude. Like, please tell me somebody raped you along the way now. Like, this is just, I'm sorry, you're my friend, I love you, you're, you're one of my best friends. But hearing bad shit happen to you is just hilarious. I, I don't know. I'm sorry that it happened to you. But that being said, I really wish somebody would have, like, been there with a camera the whole fucking time. <laughs> I'm sure the only thing that kept my friend from capturing it was that he was busy with a girl that night. But uh, yeah, my friend upstairs. But yeah, uh, it was it was not great. It was not great. Um, sounds awful. <laughs> things are things are things are clearing up now. I mean, I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think I'm gonna have to go to the hospital. I've I've gone from. Uh, That's good. Actually, actually, now that I think about it, things are still pretty bad. I've had shit about it a dozen times today. I'm gonna make your life even worse. Guess what your mic's doing again? Oh God, no! <laughs> Buzzing. Yeah, it's buzzing. It's buzzing. We're just going to have to deal with it. I mean, I don't know. This thing now must have gotten fucking damaged. Okay, I just adjust. I adjusted the uh, the cable a little bit. It stopped now? Yeah, yeah, it stopped now. You just need a new cable. Okay, right. so I'm just going to hold this. I'm just going to hold the mic in uh, in this position the entire time. Just order a new one from Mexican Amazon. I, well, you know. that, I was planning to do that anyway. But yeah, um, yeah. so it's like I've had this shit a dozen times today. I haven't had a normal sleep cycle because I... I'll wake up and I have to shit. Uh, well, you have to shit in the bed. Nah, it's not. Nah, I can hold it. You um, did shit I, the bed, didn't you? No, I didn't. You shit the bed. I did not shit All the bed. All right. Get it trending on Twitter. Anybody who's in your car listening to this on your way to work tomorrow, just whip out your Twitter and hashtag Terror House Matt shit the bed. All right? Do it. And then, and then hashtag cancel Matt. <laughs> forgot to mention I had a new symptom crop up a few days ago where every time I shit and wiped, my ass would start itching painfully. Uh, well, no, you know what that is? That's uh you got uh you got poop in the folds of your of your butt crack folds. So you that, gotta you gotta really got you gotta get a bidet, dummy. I've been telling you to have a bidet forever, dude. I, I am the king shitter. I, I know how to poop. Get I, a bidet. I, I shower I shower twice a day. Doesn't matter. I shower my asshole every time I shit. Like get a bidet. They're they're they're. You don't even have to have an electric one. Do the whole deal. Get a bidet. Just get a bidet. That is squatty potty. If you're not doing that, you're not shitting in style. You don't know what you're talking about. Get a bidet. I'm I telling you. you. Sure. Yeah. I mean, I, I had have horrible hemorrhoids. Horrible hemorrhoids. Terrible hemorrhoids. Got a bidet and a squatty potty. Haven't had a hemorrhoid for fucking. Uh, haven't had a hemorrhoid flare up for over you know year and a half. That's what you do. Well, that's good to know. I had a bidet gun when I was in Georgia, so that made uh, the first bout of food poisoning go easier. Not the not the gun. You don't need the fucking water hose for your ass. You get one that's connected to the seat. It is the seat that you sit on. It's got a little jet, and it just sh shoots right up into your butt. And uh, you know, it's good. It'll make you feel tons tons cleaner and tons better. You won't have an itchy asshole. That 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 symptom is receding now. So it's like. Uh, this 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 horror this horror this horror show is is about to about to end. It might. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> it's worse than what I went through in in April when I had COVID. Yeah, yeah, that was when funny. I, poss too. I possibly had COVID. I didn't. I didn't get tested. But yeah, I got I got some kind of flu that only lasted for a couple of days. Like I was, you know, back to normal on that regard. Of a couple of days, the fever and shit was gone. But I started shitting uncontrollably. How well, so, uh, how often in the past year have you been sick? Because I don't think I've been sick once. Like I, the other day yeah. when you were shitting water, I was like, ah, oh, but I'm pretty sure that was because I like drank vodka and didn't eat for four days. Uh, I uh, with the food poisoning, uh, I don't think I've had food poisoning in ages. In regards to like getting sick, sick like a you know cold or flu, uh, before April, the last time I'd gotten sick was I think tw yeah, 2019. I could have sworn you got food poisoning another time, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Maybe that. I don't think that wasn't food poisoning. That was just that was just that was just regular diarrhea from spicy food. <laughs> I consider it food poisoning when you start throwing up. Yeah, yeah. I guess diarrhea doesn't really count. I mean, I guess it could, but yeah. If you're throwing up, that's when it's like. Also, the term food poisoning is thrown around a lot, you know. Or if uh, it's like a case where you're like shitting every five minutes, and like like that was happening in April, where it felt like I was going to end up in a hospital on an IV drip because every, I, I I did not take a piss for like two days. They put the IV in your asshole just to stop it from like just plug it up. Uh, 
like a like a fucking like a fucking cork. Yeah, yeah, just pfft. little little thing. Yeah, no, I mean that's when you're really dehydrated is if you haven't fucking taken a leak for a while, or like and when you do, it, it's just like pissing clay. Well, the thing is, I was I was drinking fluids all throughout that thing. It's just they were all going out my ass. Yeah, yeah, no, that shit sucks, dude. I, I, don't know, you, I mean, I'm I sorry you, that happened. I, I saw I saw that one by just eating fish. What? Fish, fish and potatoes. Well, I mean, you don't you're a vegetarian, but like right. if you're if you've got like digestive issues, eat potatoes and fish. They're real helpful. Really? Why? Do you know why? Uh, a friend of mine explained it to me. Basically, the they're very simple in terms of their like molecular construction, so they're very easy for your body to break down. But they also have tons of valuable nutrients. Right. Huh. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. I've never heard that before, actually. So like basically like the best thing to eat if you have like a digestive issue is fish and chips. All right. Shit. I didn't know that. Conversely, I mean, you want to avoid like tomatoes, obviously anything yeah, spicy acid, that can upset your stomach. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean like potatoes are fucking uh, potatoes are, I, I, I live on potatoes. I love potatoes. Uh, also, what a dumb thing. You ever just like you'll be you think about something and you're like why is that that's retarded I eat too many fucking potatoes, uh, like they're not even that good. Potatoes are fucking stupid. I'm done with potatoes, but yeah, I mean like if I'm uh, hungover, or, like sick or something like that, uh, like hash browns is usually like really good. Uh, but if I'm like sick, sick, like flu sick, split pea soup. That's what I like. Split pea soup. Yeah, definitely. Uh, am I buzzing again? No, you're fine now. You were a second ago. But I figured it would pass. Well, it's like I had to, you know, put the mic down actually to open this energy drink so I could drink it. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. He's letting the dogs out. He's letting the dogs out. Here comes fucking Energy Matt. Everybody, nobody's <laughs> safe. Everybody figure it out. Here he comes. Energy drink Matt. Drink a fucking beer with me on the gut. Now you're buzzing again, you fucking dickhead. But, you know, you're not buzzing because you never drink with me on the fucking podcast ever. You never drink with me. It's fucking irritating. You, know what? Spoke- you need to look out because this beer is 11% and it tastes like milk. Okay. It's delicious. It's called dragon's milk. It's ridiculous. It's, it's really good. It's like a Florida thing, I guess, but. Ooh, Alki Brian, Brian is here. Yeah. You got damn right. God damn right. And I had a fucking iced coffee this morning. Huh? I was at the Walmart going around doing bits. You're doing bits. Did you I finally want- get the did you finally get the idea together where you're really gonna go in public and podcast at people for five minutes? Oh yeah, no, I've got to find some mics around here. I've actually just written, instead written some material about uh Florida and shit like that. So I'm just gonna go and do that. Uh go to some mics and try out some new stuff. Um because yeah, I haven't I, I like I didn't do it all of 2020, I didn't do any stand up. And then now it's like I can't really blame the pandemic uh for me not doing any comedy so like it just it's so much easier to just like do live streams and podcast than it is to like get in my fucking car drive all the way over there or like uber all the way over to some fucking shithole mic because like i don't know any i i you know i haven't been booked for ages uh so i'll just like do fucking mics or whatever and uh you know because i'm never gonna be a fucking i'm never gonna be a professional comedian even i'm never gonna be a famous i'm never getting a netflix special i none of these people are ever gonna give a shit about me i'm just not that funny but it's still fun to do and, wow what, that, what is that a fucking diplo song like that's jesus dubstep it up a little less buddy but <laughs> it's buzzing like crazy <laughs> this is matt forney Womp. Okay, Figure is it, it better now? It's better now. It's a lot better now. But, you know, I don't know. I just, like, go do some shit. But I uh, I have no excuse anymore. Like, every, I'm in Florida. Everything's open. It's like, uh, I have to go do fucking stand-up again. <laughs> so it's fine. It'll be fun. I've got some new stuff I want to do. I'm, I'm never doing any of my old jokes again. I know that. Never again. Even in a bind. Like, if I get in a bind... So what you're doing? What? You fucking DJ Skrillex over here? What are you talking about? It's buzzing. It's doing a walk. It's literally dubstep, <laughs> which I don't mind. I like dubstep. Fuck it. Let's do a whole dubstep podcast with Terra House Radio dubstep <laughs> review podcast. That's it. We fuck books. We don't even do that anymore. We publish DJs. That's what we do. We're a record label now. I'm fine okay. with that. Okay, I fine. like that more than what we do now. It's like, oh, look, it's another Andy Nowicki and Benjamin Welton book. Like, who gives a fucking shit? You know, 
God okay, damn. fine. I'll mute my mic whenever I'm not talking. No, you sound fine now, but when you move it, or when like you know, I don't know, your your fart fat body ripples across the cord, it just causes dubstep. <laughs> <laughs> you dickhead go back and listen to this after it's done you're gonna be like oh wow he's exactly right it's, it's terrible i'm dubstep matt dubstep matt you should get a pair of headphones and be dubstep matt <laughs> oh my god call yourself fucking uh 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 matt wobble that would fuck oh dj matt wobble i would listen to dj matt wobble that's such a good fucking dubstep name DJ, 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 Matt, wobble, 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 That had rule, dude. Be DJ, quit all this fucking dumb book shit. Let's be a record label. For a for a fucking genre of music that nobody except me listens to anymore. Well, I mean, I did, I, you know, I did, I did write a, uh, co-write a couple of metal songs with Matt Lawrence, you know. Those will be, those will be out soon enough. What'd you do? Like lyrics or lyrics? Or... Oh, one is called All Caps Boomer, and the other one is called uh, I, I forget the title of the other one, but it's called, but it's about bug men. I cannot wait to hear this. Oh, he's yeah, he's he's you know, he's gonna be recording it, you know, you know, all this stuff. <laughs> By the way, go go follow him on Twitter. Twitter is at his Matt Lawrence Art. He's our he's our art director. Real cool guy. Never talked to him. I don't know why he hasn't been on the show before. I, I no, I've talked he to him like, like, in passing, like in the fucking Slack that I never go into. He's uh, he's, he's he has been on the show, but it was an episode where you couldn't make it. Ah, well, then it was a bad episode. You're saying, <laughs> and you two would get along. Yeah, oh, he'll, I'm sure. he'll be back on the show soon enough. I mean, I was when I was doing bits at Walmart today. Uh, I, I told Erica, I'm like, the entire podcast is just me calling Matt fat, and we've been doing it for like a year and a half. Like this podcast used to be about books, and then now it's just me getting drunk and going, "Hey, Matt, you're bald." Like I don't, I, I don't know. I'm getting depressed now. I'm like, what a fucking waste of our lives. Like sands through the hourglass. This is a waste of our lives. Days of Our Lives reference, huh? Soap operas. I, don't know, I enjoyed. I enjoyed doing it. Speaking oh, of, which, yeah. this is like I, I look forward to it every fucking time. Like, Spe unless I'm too hungover. Sometimes I, I I crawl in here, but I've been putting the effort in lately, especially since we've gone, you know, live. I've been putting the effort in. I see the lights, camera, action, baby. I'm ready to go. I am an entertainer. Ah, jazz hands. Well, I mean, you went and did the one show with, uh, without me. That is true. And it was a great episode. Yeah, you, you you showed initiative. Fuck. Matt? What? How would you like to do Terror House News a little bit early while I go find my fucking bottle opener? Uh, sure. Whatever. Don't whatever. What do you mean whatever? Attitude, mister. Okay. <laughs> you got a bad attitude. Let's try to turn it around. You got a bad tooth, dude. Don't be so rude. All Let right. me find Yoda there with a do or do not. Do there is no try. What is that fucking? Where did you even get that? I'm gonna go find my fucking keys. Tell these people about whatever, whatever this fucking company is that sells books that I weaseled in you into making a podcast a year and a half ago so I could put this on my internet resume. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, news. Uh, next week on August 6th, we've had to move the release date back a couple of weeks because of uh, issues. Rhythm and Mucus by Mather Schneider will be out. Let me, Mather, 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 like Lather. I always got to make sure to get that right. It's a poetry collection from uh, one, of my, one of my favorite writers, the author of Six to Six. Uh, working class perspective. Um, He's just a funny guy, very, very caustic, very, uh, very caustic, very aggressive. But he, man, he can fucking write. Uh, Rhythm and Mucus by Math Mather Schneider will be out next week on August sixth, and that's it for news. You found the bottle opener. That's what you sound like. I did find it. That's what you sound like. That's what you What's sound. Like. Uh, am I buzzing? You were. 
<sighs> I know. It's like a situation where if I don't hold the uh, the cord in it, like the the precise micron, it doesn't work. Yeah, put it in your butt. Hold it. That way. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's hold it not, in your ass. At, at this at this at this particular juncture, the mic would not last five minutes. What? Because you're so loose in the butt that it would fall in there, or what are you talking about? <laughs> Diarrhea. <laughs> well, yeah, that's true. Diarrhea, Matt. Di I, I, I take it all back. Hashtag diarrhea Matt Forney. <laughs> the, if you send pictures of what you think diarrhea Matt Forney looks like to the Terror House Twitter, the winner of the best one gets five dollars. Diarrhea Matt Forney. Yes, yeah. So yeah, it was not a it was not a good trip. There we go. Uh, the camera was fucked up. Yeah, no, it doesn't sound like it was a good trip at all. I mean, it's funny, but it sounds like it was fucking awful, dude. Just, that sucks. I'm sorry. Yeah, to I, mean, I mean, I mean, Georgia wasn't terrible. I mean, uh, Georgia, you know, people were had taken their masks off and were like doing like normal shit. That was nice. Fuck Turkey. I I never never Whoa! thought of Turkey. No, fuck Turkey. No. Turkey is the, Turkey is the reason I'm shitting myself. Well, point goes to Turkey. All right. Turkey fucking rules. Yay, Turkey. Boo, Greece. Yay, Turkey. Boo, Greece. Turkey's great. They come into my D-Live chats and they go, open chest. And they're fucking incredible. And they spam the Turkish flag. They're, they're you know, they they sound like great fucking people to be around all the time. And it seems like they also have a sense of humor. Because <laughs> they poisoned you. <laughs> Turks are fucking obnoxious. They rule, dude. Turkey rules. Have you seen their military propaganda videos? Turkey fucking rules. I was there during one of their military propaganda holidays. That rules. Was it not great? They're not I a mean, bunch of like square chested men march around in like ski masks and you know look like fucking GI Turks. It was more. It was more like a bunch of dudes and rusted out Hondas blaring Middle Eastern music while waving the flag from the back window. So they had their own little Fourth of July, basically. Yeah, it was it was to commemorate the coup that happened like five years ago. Damn, that, that they had like reason, a little huh? photo series about it on the Bosporus Bridge or some shit. Here's why I don't like Turkey. You can't walk down that fucking anywhere without some fucking asshole trying to sell you something. Some fucking dickhead. Uh, you know. Okay, so it's a country filled with entrepreneurs. They sound great. No, it's not great. Cause, cause, I'm sorry to hear that you hate capitalism, you communist fuck. They're just trying to fucking make their way. Man. They're completely tactless about it too. That's the issue. Is like you, you, you'll, you'll get hit up by like a dozen of these guys in the span of like, you know, thirty minutes. And you know, like you've dealt with like Arabs. Sounds like a bustling like, economy. I don't know what the complaint is. You've, you've, you've dealt with like Arabs or Iranians, and are like, my friend, my friend, my friend. Yeah. When those guys do it, I don't mind because they're like charming and stuff. Turks are like rude and pushy. So like they won't even say my friend. It's just like, hey, you want some hashish? American, American fag. Hey, you, you fat American fuck. Buy this. <laughs> you want Syrian sex slave? Um, do you? I, I I don't know. It sounds like they have a great economy over there. Turkey rules. I'm gonna go live in fucking Turkey, dude. I would be the best Turk, bro. Holy shit. Me and my Turkish friends hanging out. I like. I have to. You know, I tell them to like, I'm like, hey, hey, guys, calm down. I'm trying to do the podcast over here because they just live at my house. I would imagine. I think that they're probably like stray dogs. They just I think I think you would legit hate Turkey just really just because. Yeah, you would. Because I'm racist or what? <laughs> like now, because no, because sometimes you just want to walk down the street without having people harass you. Oh, all the time. I want to walk down the street without having people harass me. Yeah. So you fucking hate Turkey because I've, I've never seen that anywhere else. They're that bad. I mean, once had a guy come up to me there while, while I was you know trying to beg off a light and I was making it clear that I didn't want to talk to anybody. It's like, you see someone walking with purpose down the street, looking ahead, not acknowledging you. You leave that person alone. It's like, you know, nah, that's a mark. Him. You what you listen, you fucking pink skinned piece of shit. You're a mark. <laughs> I'm you a know? mark, huh? Why not? That's what they think. They're like American deep pockets. They're just trying to make their way out there, dude. I'm a libertarian. I respect 
their hustle. All right. I mean, at least that, how is that any different than fucking in LA all the time? I could not walk down the street without somebody trying to sell me their fucking mixtape. It's not, it's, it's, it's just as obnoxious. No, it's more obnoxious when black people do it. You know, at least with the Turkish people, I'd be like, ha 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 foreigners. But when the, when the black Americans do it, I'm like, ah, oh, this is my fellow countrymen. I respect the effort, but you were not in the Wu Tang Clan. Keep that off of your logo. Why do you have the parental advisory logo uh, thing on your fucking album art? You know, and it's like I bought a few of those before because they're like two dollars. They're always bad, and they're available for free on SoundCloud. Just get the guy's name. You don't have to pay for it. I fell for that a couple times because I drink a lot, and I'm well, really isn't it bad with money. To sell those? What mixtapes? Oh well, yeah, yeah, because I mean, it's why would it be illegal else's... for people to sell mixtape CDs? Well, you're using someone else's beat. I... No, a lot of them make their own beats, and even if they steal the beats, why? Yeah, I, th that's that's what the LAPD is. Well, they are black, so maybe the LAPD might come and kill them. But that's I don't think that the cops are going to come after people. It's yeah, this is not something that's dealt with cop with cops. It's dealt with by copyright lawyers not not for these guys i mean these guys aren't like on the radio if they're stealing beats it's they're not they're set they're standing on hollywood boulevard selling burnt cds for two dollars i this is not it's see okay so a, even that it does come down to uh you know fair use law uh they're not a, an economic competitor so it's it's not it would not it would not be worth it you know, that's yeah, I mean, I, it's not, I'm, I'm pretty well versed in fair in fair. My yeah, lawyer not, is a gonna, copyright lawyer. Yeah, so, these, guys, these guys are not going to get prosecuted, obviously, because they're not important. But they well, are. it's not. It's also it's not a crime. There's, it wouldn't be a prosecution. It would be a civil matter. So, oh, yeah, like whatever. You, you, you know what I'm getting at? Mm -hmm. You know, I it's nobody cares about that shit. Why are you trying to make trouble where there's no trouble? You know what? The homies going to roll up on you. They're going to cap your ass talking about this fucking copyright shit. My neighbor. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just looking out. I'm just looking out for my friends. You're looking out for the homies. You're looking out for the hood. When yes. Matt eats, the hood eats. That's right. That's how you roll. <laughs> God, I don't know why you're fucking trying to make trouble where there's no trouble. I'm all, I'm, I'm fucking heated. I'm, I'm heated now. Making trouble where there's no trouble, man. Leave them be. You're, Leave them be. You're always fucking heated, Brian. I know. It's fucking horrible. It's got to be terrible for my body. Like, you know, just to be this tense all the time. I find myself just having just dramatic mood swings. Uh, it's, 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 you know, it can't be good for me. I'm tense all the time. My jaw hurts. I clench my jaw a lot because I'm like trying not to say the N word like all the time. It's, it's pretty rough. Not uh, like, not even to black people at Erica. You know, like, <laughs> I don't know. I got, uh, I got some serious stress problems. I know that. That's why I don't need you out there trying to make trouble for one of the guys who was definitely in the Wu Tang Killer Bees. Uh, I think I probably still have a couple of these fucking mixtapes around, or at least one of them. Uh, it was fucking terrible. Like it was just horrible. Like it was really bad mumble rap bullshit. It's like you're an LA rapper. Why do you have like Brooklyn boom boom bap fucking beats? It was it was really bad, but whatever. It was worth the five dollars or whatever it was just to say that I did it. Like I remember when I first moved there, I uh, uh, on uh, off of Coronado. Uh, I think it was on Alvarado actually was uh, uh, where it was. There was like people that had like bootleg DVDs, and uh, I, I bought a couple of those. I forget what was the. Russell Brand movie, something rock, like King of Rock, whatever that was. Get uh, into the Greek? No, no. It was something about like rock bands. But I was like, oh, this is like still in theaters. I'm like, oh, that's neat. So I fucking buy the thing and it was unwatchable. Like it was like somebody brought a camcorder in there, like their fucking phone in there and just sat it in their lap. It was unwatchable, but it was like, oh, that's cool. Because I was young and, you know didn't have the internet uh like we couldn't afford it um this shit uh it's weird what people do man it's weird what people do to just like make money that's people's like whole jobs like standing like standing in the subway fucking selling bottles of water you know 
they'll do that for 14 hours a day. That's somebody's job. Oh, like you see that that that's all over the place in Turkey, in Turkey, and in Mexico. Well, at least in Mexico City, I don't see him. I don't see him here. Like there, you know, you'll be sitting in traffic, like in Mexico City, some dude will come up, like offering you cigarettes. Yep, that's somebody's job, dude. Like I see that around here. Like some guy will just like sell flowers for a while. He was selling masks, you know, and I'm like, that's your job, you know? I don't, I don't know. I assume that he's like illegal, uh, so maybe you can't get regular work. But it's like you can't go wash dishes. It seems like you'd make more money doing that. Like just standing in the 95 degree heat selling flowers. Like that's insane. I don't yeah, know. I mean, yeah, I mean, they do it in Mexico. They do it in Turkey. The key difference is that Mexicans are pretty polite about it. If you like, if you're not interested, they'll just move on. The Turks will get fucking angry if you don't buy shit from them. That fucking rules. <laughs> uh, that, that fucking rules, man. I mean, that, look, they sound like, the type of guys that show up in my fucking D live chat, spam the Turkish flag and say open chest. <laughs> like, the, just... only, the only thing I like about Turkey is like Istanbul is a nice city. It's got a lot of nice mosques. It's not Constantinople? Nice, uh, I, too many syllables. Why the, you know, I, I don't know. Uh, why the, why Constantinople got the works? It's really nobody's business but the Turks. So. Well, apparently even the Greeks were calling it Istanbul before. Not Constantinople? No, nah, that name got phased out ages ago. Hmm. I guess because Constantinople got the works. Uh, officially, in, I think, in 1930. Well, it seems people, like it's nobody's business but the Turks. But, yeah, yeah. but yeah, Have you not it, heard the They Might Be Giant song? Wait, are you, wait, wait, Istanbul, not Constantinople, no, in Istanbul. No, uh, was, uh, was I, know, Istanbul, I know the song, you were, I know the but, song you're referring to. That's they might be giants, like one of the greatest bands they that have ever existed. They didn't, that's a cover. No, I'm pretty sure they came up with that one. No, no, it was a cover. It came out in the 50s by some doo wop group. Uh, did they really? Maybe. Uh, I don't know. They might be giants is still an incredible band, and they've done so many songs that people have heard. Uh, uh, let me look it up. See, I searched it. It says they might be giants. Um, let me find the Wikipedia thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, that is a cover. So it was a 1953 novelty song, uh, lyrics by Jimmy Kennedy and music by Nat Simon. Nat Simon's such a good fucking music guy name. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm Nat Simon. I mean, it's clearly a Jewish dude, but yeah, I'm Nat Simon. That, that That's such a, that's a good name. Yeah, he's yeah. a New York Jewish dude. <laughs> But yeah, it's a nice city. They have a nice airport. You know, I like Manti, and that's all the nice things I can say about Turkey. What is oh what yeah, is it's, it's what is Manti? It's a sheep. Um, you know, pierogies. You're fucking sheep over there. What do you mean? Oh, it's oh oh, it's a food. Sorry, I just immediately assumed that you were having sex it's, with sheep it, because it, it, I, I know your, you. Get your mind out of the gutter, Brian. I don't know. Get your dick out of the sheep, Matt. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, so it's like pierogies then? Because I love pierogies. It's, it's like it's, it's pierogies in like yogurt and like this special spicy sauce. It's really fucking good. But it's but it's like lamb. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. All right, fair enough. Just 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 be forewarned. It will it will make your bowels explode. Oh, dude! If I if I had any meat right now, I would shit for days. Like I haven't had meat in years. So like if I had meat, it would my system would get rocked by it, and I would either be constipated or I, I'd I'd go full Matt Forney and just <laughs> shit. <for me. laughs> oh man, yeah. I I don't know. It'd be it'd be rough stuff. You know what's even worse? Like when because I, I was vegan for a really long time, and then I started eating cheese again. You could not do that to your body. Like putting dairy back into it after not having it for years. You're just. I mean, it is the like. It's you it turned your ass into a soft serve machine, dude. <laughs> like it's just, it's fucking horrible. It's like it's like the Swatty Potty commercial with the unicorn. Yeah, yeah. Except the unicorn is has like a it fucking shoots swastikas and shit at you. I mean, it, like it's 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 horrible. Like it's 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 just god awful. Because like it doesn't matter what you ate, it still burns. Like your whole body is just like, why did you do this to me? And you're like, because it was good before. Uh, it's brutal. It's it was brutal. It took me like, I don't even know why I, I kept with it. It took me like two months 
uh, of eating cheese before my body adjusted to it again. And you know how my body adjusted to it? By getting fat. <laughs> and uh, it's it just decided like, yeah, let's store all of uh, all of these excess dairy calories uh, in your neck and gut. So like I just walk around like this. I mean, it's fucking horrible, dude. But neck, gut and nowhere else. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, if it all went to my dick, that'd be great. I'd walk around with, like, a fucking Wonder Bread dong. That'd rule. You know, I'd eat cheese sticks every day more than I eat cheese sticks every day. But, yeah, I don't know. I never should have started eating dairy again. But now I can't quit. You know, it's like smoking cigarettes. You know, once you're back on those cheese sticks, I'm like, ah, at least I'm down to a pack a day. Like, it's it's fucking awful. It's just truly terrible. But it wrecks your body. Uh, question about pierogies. I am apparently an anomaly with this. How do you like your pierogies? Uh, like the meat inside, the filling? No, no. How do you like them cooked? Um, I like them boiled. Dude. Brother. Hell yeah. I'm a boiled guy too. Erica thinks I'm crazy because she likes them fried. Everybody else I know likes them fucking fried. I'm a fucking, I'm a boiled pierogi dude. For well, I'm sure. Just, I, well, I'm just not big on fried food in general. So like boiled, but I, plus I'm used to cooking them that way because my mom made them like that. So Oh, your mom cooked you pierogies? That no, rules. She's part Polish, so. Oh, oh, that explains so much. How many Matt Forneys does it take to screw in a light bulb? I don't know. I don't know either. Probably just, you could probably handle it. You're pretty confident, dude. <laughs> How about you could screw in a light bulb, you know? But that's the only thing you've screwed for a while. Oh! Oh, hey, oh! Oh, Terror, Terror House Radio. radio. Bam, 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 bam. I really do. Dude, I'm going to buy one of those uh, uh, Elgato fucking stream decks. Uh, you know, the dumb things where you press the button. I could literally do the same thing, but this is I'd rather spend $250 on it. Uh, I'm going to get one of those, and then I am going to do drops for this show. I'm going to make this show the morning zoo. It's going to be fucking awful. People originally, years ago, well, year ago, would tune in to be like, I wonder what books things are going to happen a year from now. It's going to be like, all right. Hey, I'm Bryden. I'm, uh, I'm here with Matt. And, uh, this is what the look toilet flush. Uh, that'll be the, you know, that'll be good. What do you think about radio voice, Matt? Can you do what? I think that's what we got to do. Yeah, this is terror house radio. What do you, what, do you, what is that? I tried a radio voice. What the fuck voice. was that? Why? I, I tried a radio voice and fucked it up. Yeah, try again. D try not sucking all of the air into you while you're talking. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> you, know, I, I didn't, I didn't ask you to try to be a frog. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna be able to do it because I'm laughing too hard. Well. It's... Yeah, this is Terror House Radio. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> You're doing everything but what you should be doing. So, so no, I can't do it because I'm I, I'm like, but I don't. What the fuck was that? <laughs> I'm, I'm laughing too hard. I'm not going to be able to get it right. I well, don't worry. You didn't get it right the two first times for it. What the fuck was that? God damn! No, the right honorable goes. You're supposed to be a DJ, Matt, not mentally challenged. Yeah, you sound like you had respiratory problems. <laughs> I'm like, hey, Matt, what's your radio <laughs> voice? Think of this like you're a strip club DJ. And then instead you were like, this is the Hero House Radio. This is Tyra House Radio. What? You're, so you're doing a nerd from the 80s? What the fuck is that? <laughs> that one was intense. That was intentional. That yeah, was int well, <laughs> Jesus fucking shit. <laughs> That's just god awful, Matt. Like, I'm not the best at impressions, don't get me wrong, but like, man, I guess you can just do that one voice, huh? That's just the Matt Forney voice. That's that's just the Matt Forney voice. That's the way that it is. That's why you'll never be on the morning zoo, and I'm gonna replace you with the right honorable. 
Like you've never heard the radio before. They talk like that. Every single one of them. And I know they don't normally talk like that, but like you'll be at your like local pool. Well, they probably don't do this anymore. But do you remember the like um, like radio stations would do um, they'd be like, all right, gas is 99 cents down at the Shell station today. Thanks to WQ, WQRX, the fag. And, uh, you know, this is stinky in the butt. And they'd be, you know, at the thing, just doing a live broadcast. And, like, people would be lined up and they'd, you know, like, whole events. Dude, the radio used to fucking rule. And now it just has people like you on it. You sound like a fucking NPR. <laughs> this is uh, the insurrection uh, about uh, the NPR news. Uh. Like, I swear to God, they have people with, like, stutters and lisps and shit on NPR now because they're, like, fucking progressives and those people are nightmares. But the, the, I, the, I, the, this is the t- 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 terror house <laughs> radio. Yeah. Well, have you noticed that NPR does have, like, you know, uh, people with, like, lisps and shit on I it haven't now, like, listened doing the to- news. Dude, you, you forget where I live. I have not been in the U.S. for ages. No, I don't listen to American radio. Why? Because, well, first off, it's impossible in Europe. Oh, thanks- I know why. Because you're on the Mexican radio. Huh? That's a throwback. Who remembers that song? Well, it was impossible in Europe because all the websites for like guarantee- radio stations are blocked in Europe. That can't be true, can it? Yes, it really? is. It's because of the G- it's because of the GDPR. What is that? You know the General Data Protection Regulation. I've never heard of that before. Well, you remember, like like three years ago when it came into effect, every single website on planet Earth suddenly updated their TOS. Mm-hmm. I thought that that's because they hated Donald Trump. <sighs> no, it's it's a European regulation that uh, all these oh, sites. Oh, the no memes thing. Yeah, is that what that was? Uh, no, that was something different, but like it's oh. the same kind of mentality. It's basically about you know protecting data that's gathered on websites and stuff. So all these sites updated their shit, and websites that didn't have a, you know a international audience just just blocked were blocked from access. They blocked themselves from being accessed in Europe, like an American I- radio station, like you know you know News Talk six hundred and Cow Butt Arizona. Zona is just going to block European traffic because nobody in fucking France cares about uh, News Talk 600 uh, in Cowboy, Arizona. Dude, if, I mean, like, if they, if I spoke French or even understood it, I would definitely listen to, like, French local radio. I bet it's fucking incredible. Like, uh, can you imagine me, like, uh, um, je suis come on, baguettes. It's hard to do this voice with the accent, but this is the way that it is. Oh, I think I'm getting better at that. Holy cow. Dude, I should just do radio. Fuck this. I'm too talented for this fucking show. I'm going to go do terrestrial radio, baby. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be like, all right, this is your live at five traffic report. Turns out Matt Forney's still a faggot. Oh, and I have been fired. Nobody knows who Matt Forney is, but at least I got to do the bits. <laughs> uh, God, I yeah, I don't know. I I, I didn't know about that. That's where, but it's got to be like National Public Radio has got to have an international audience. I would imagine, right? Like NPR. I, 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 yeah, I think you can access the NPR website. Yeah, yeah, I and mean, like Rush Limbaugh, I know had an international. God damn it, pour one out for my fucking my my boy Rush. The, the, the radio is not the same without him. I don't even fucking bother with it anymore, man. Like they've got uh, Buck Sexton and Clay Travis. And it sucks now. Like they like I they just it sucks now, dude. Buck Sexton. That can't be his real name. That is his real name. Also, there was a baseball player named Dick Sexton, which well, Richard Sexton, but I always called him Dick Sexton because that's hilarious. But uh yeah, yeah, Buck Sexton, that's his name, I guess. And Clay Travis, and they're like, Hey, we're here to be like they kind of have that type of voice, you know, that radio voice. There's Rush. Never had a radio voice. What Rush did was he would bring you the facts, and they would lean in real close, and they would do this. God, he's, I mean, he was one in a million, man. It's like, dude, it's been really hard for me. Uh, This year has fucking blown. Like, last year, I paid my rent live streaming. This year, fucking not at all. And Rush Limbaugh died, and John McAfee faked his fucking death. I am. It's been a tough fucking you know year for me, dude. Nobody is uh you know nobody's buying my tires. It fucking blows. It stinks, dude. That's been a great year for me. Yeah. yeah well, great. you can go. You know what? I hope you get diarrhea again, you dickhead. <laughs>
<laughs> you know, I don't know. It's been fucking terrible. And, and like, oh, thank God, I'm gonna be moving out of this fucking uh uh fucking yes, yes. Talk about soul talk, plane apartment complex. Talk uh, talk about talk about the great apartment hunt. Oh my god. So yeah, I'm I'm, I'm looking for apartments. And you're you're gonna fucking love this because this is the dumbest shit I've ever seen. Ah, <clears throat> uh, there is an apartment complex that, in their amenities, it's listed as fully equipped podcast studio. What? Yeah, I know. So it's like on-site washer and dryer, pool, community pool, fully equipped podcast studio. I like, and the thing is, like, I'm never gonna live there. It's too expensive. I'm not gonna pay twenty one hundred dollars a month to subsidize some fucking dickhead's podcast that's probably better than mine. You know, I just I can't imagine that somebody's like doing the whole thing. There's, I guarantee, there's never been a, a, a good podcast recorded there ever. I don't know what it really looks like as far as like the the studio, but I can't imagine that it's that great. But even like the fact that they're advertising, it's like the on the amenities thing. It's like the second thing that they list. They're like community pool, fully equipped podcast studio. Like I was blown away. I was blown away, and it makes me want to quit even doing this. It makes me want to just quit the internet and go light my fucking self on fire because like we're now <laughs> at the point that people my age can afford twenty one hundred dollar a month two bedroom fucking you know, apartments and are like, well, at least there's a podcast studio there. What the fuck? Like it, you got, you know, you got to stop every fucking idiot. I know is a fucking podcast. And it's like, I feel bad yelling about that because it's like, I've been podcasting for years, but I just don't want to be that type of millennial white guy stereotype. And then the thing is, the last thing we need is another fucking podcast from somebody who pays $1,400 a month for a studio apartment. Like, what could they possibly have to say? I, it just, it drove me. I, it, I hope that this is not a trend, but I could not believe it. I could not believe it. Fully equipped podcast studio as a fucking amenity for a goddamn apartment complex. What I, I you know? I think it's awesome. They're no, like, it's really, not awesome. <laughs> they're really tuned into Fire the needs of shit. <laughs> they're tuned to the needs of their audience, of their of their tenants. What faggots? <laughs> Self-absorbed pricks who aren't good at this. <laughs> Used to be. Oh at yeah, 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 oh yeah. You know, it's a good thing we've got the. You know, we got a pool table down there in like the rec area. And then also, if you feel the need to go be an egotistical fucking faggot because you've got 2,000 Twitter followers, I've got a whole room for you over there. Well, it's like these places used to come with like home gyms. Now they have podcast studios. Now they have that too, which is fine. They're like, good, there's a gym. You know, you got a whole thing. The treadmills and shit down there, whatever you want. Now it's a podcasting. And that's the thing. Like a gym, which is like necessary to stay alive and healthy and shit. <clears throat> and then a podcasting studio. You know, to stay alive and healthy and shit. What the fuck? I mean, for some people, well, podcasting, I guess, is therapy. For me, it, for, for me, not for them. I do that. Not them. <laughs> I bought my own shit. You buy your own shit. God damn it. It just fucking infuriated me. Like I saw that and I'm like, oh, I won't live there, but I guess I'll set it on fire. Like I it's 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 like meal prep services. You know, having a podcast uh, studio that you can rent out in your apartment complex is like a meal prep service. I know it's an amenity, which means you're not renting it out. Like if you were like, oh, it also has a studio in it, I'd be like, fine. Oh, you get yeah. oh, you get like a free access to it. Apparently, like you don't get charged Sign to go me to the, the pool. Fuck up! No. Sign me the. Can you imagine us doing the fucking show at like you know some weird room in like an apartment complex? You know, just like try just screaming retard and you know what's the deal with Koreans and shit? I can't. It would be fucking awesome. No, this is that's stupid. You buy your own shit. You buy your own. If you want to do this? You buy your own shit. Like, can, what podcast could have possibly been recorded there? It's not like last podcast on the left wasn't recorded there. Joe Rogan's not showing up anytime soon. True and on. True and on was recorded there. I know. 
Like, I guarantee there's never been a, like a podcast that's good that was recorded. And <laughs> like the, oh yeah, the, I, the fucking, and again, I would feel like a piece of shit paying so much money to subsidize some dickheads fucking podcast that it records down there. You know, I just, I couldn't believe it. I could not believe it. It's the most millennial fucking thing in the entire world. I hate everyone our age. I hate us all. I hate us all. We deserve to burn. We're terrible people. Fucking just, po- saying- just a bunch of fucking. Everybody's listening to this right now has a fucking podcast. God, we suck. Just a bunch of egotistical pieces of shit. Well, terrible. Wouldn't it be awesome to not have to own the equipment? And you don't have to clean the room afterwards when you're getting. Oh you know, yeah, I'll going. own nothing and I'll be happy, right, Matt? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, Brian, you're you're never gonna be happy regardless of how much you own. So listen, you can go down with the ship with Charles Schwab. Both of you, you can just fucking Charles Klaus, not Charles Schwab. That's a different thing. Charles Klaus of the fucking, you know. Uh, it's Klaus Schwab. Klaus Schwab. Yeah, listen, I this beer is 11%, you dumb, fat, bald, piece of shit, asshole. Want to fucking come over to my goddamn apartment <laughs> complex of studio, you dickhead. Like, another thing that they have the amenities is they're like giant Scrabble. What? They're like, oh, yeah, we have giant Scrabble for you to play. Like, it's, it's, it's like, it's literally an overpriced fucking playground for 30-year-olds. You know? Like, I'm sure... So it's perfect for you. No, it's not. Because like I did like they like it seems like one of those places that's like we encourage uh you know like social thing. No, I just want a place to fucking live where everybody doesn't slam the goddamn door 17 hours a day. That'd be great. And if I didn't have to hear ice cream trucks and fucking rap music all the time, you know, change it up, change it up, play some Tom Petty. God damn it. You know, if you're gonna play loud music all the time. Change it up, just you know. But instead, it's they don't even like listen to Drake or Kanye, dude. Like I, I hate it here. I hate it here. And then it's the fucking ice cream trucks. I don't know which is worse, that or the fuck. Like, can you imagine you're like trying to just have like have fucking dinner or something, and like there's some jackasses podcasting downstairs in the podcast studio that you're paying for. God, podcasting studio in a fucking apartment. Oh, well, hey, you know what we should do? We should go check out their podcast and play some giant Scrabble. Eat my fucking balls. <laughs> I just, good God. Like, I hate to go full boomer like that, but, you know, that that whole thing is just like, Dad, I'm not exactly done with college living yet. I need to go pay $1,400 a month for a studio apartment. It's not even like, it's like in LA, my uh, studio apartment was $1,400, but it was Right on Yucca, a block from Hollywood Boulevard on Hollywood and Highland. Okay? So it was like, oh, there's the fucking Chinese theater right there. Never went. Didn't care. But it's right there. Walk, it was like it was a thing. And there was a great deal on it. Great. <clears throat> an astounding deal. Uh, this, it's just some fucking shithole. It's like off the beaten path. But they have giant Scrabble in a podcast studio. What a fucking me- You know, I, I don't know. Uh, it just, it pissed me off to no end. Like it made me want to just quit all of the internet forever because it's like that we've gotten to that point that everybody thinks like the reason that I do podcasting is because I'm <clears throat> fucking funny and you know, I'm a comic and I, I, I can't shut up and I love radio and that's just it's something I've done for years and years and years. No, everybody who has $1,400 a month spared of like own a place should now have a podcast apparently. And it's like, that's, I mean, it, it, like it, the only thing that would have made it worse if they were like, actually, it would have been better. But if they were like, yeah, we well, have a stage and then every we got an open mic down here. The only reason it would have been better is because I would have tried to go and do comedy there, despite not living there. Like, I just give me, give me their address. I'm moving in. Give me their phone number. Do they, do they take cashier's checks? I don't know. I they probably take fucking Dogecoin. Like it's. <laughs> I, you know, I don't know. It just seems like such a fucking <clears throat> dumb scam. Like our entire generation is a bunch of fucking morons. A, a, a fucking fully equipped podcast studio as an amenity, as if it was like a washer and dryer unit or a pool. I, giant Scrapple. Giant Scrapple sounds fun. Oh God, I don't even. Well, it, it sounds awful. It sounds worse than regular Scrabble. 
Well, I mean, expecting you to engage in physical activity, uh, get off your ever expanding ass is a. You can you can kiss my fucking ass, bitch. I've been fucking working out <laughs> lately for like two months now. You're working out. I have been. I've been weight training and shit. I'm fucking doing it. Now, really? Yeah. It's been good. I. You've been lifting. You've been lifting uh, donuts. <laughs> No, no, I got dumbbells. I got a curl bar thing. I got the fucking. I got a bench thing. I well, I've you had been those, lifting those a weed pipe while. to your lips. I don't smoke marijuana. I'm white, uh, and I don't know where to find pot. And it makes me paranoid. The last time I smoked pot, I sat in the shower forever, and I was like, "This is what crazy people feel like," uh, for like an hour. So yeah, it wasn't great. But no, I've been doing the fucking push-ups. I've been doing stuff. I've been fucking putting in the work, dickhead. <laughs> All right, and you know what? A year from now, I'm going to see some real results. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to hold you down and forcefully rape you. <laughs> I'm going to fucking rape your fat fucking cheeks, dude. I'm going to clap those cheeks, Matt. I'm going to I'm going to go hard into it too. Whap, 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 with my fucking muscular uh, fucking Sylvester Stallone forearms. I've been doing a lot of forearm stuff. I care about that, you know, because I'm a wristlet, you know. So I got to get those big ass forearms. <laughs> You could, you know, you kiss my ass, dude. I'm, I'm fucking come over there. I'm gonna make you eat my butt. <laughs> you're gonna Grab give up. You. You're gonna give up in two months. I've already been doing it for two months. Yeah, you, you're gonna. You've got another four months in this max. I hope not. I hope not. You know, I don't know. I got to do it. I'm getting old. I got to do it. Like, you got to do it because otherwise, it's terrible. And it makes me feel good, actually. Uh, I like it. I like doing it. So you can kiss my ass. Don't project your fucking insecurity, your fat insecurities onto me, dickhead. I'm well, I, got, I, got, I got kettlebells. I do. Cow, I've been doing kettlebells for about three months. Yeah, you've been doing cowbells because that's what they put around your neck. You walk around, you fucking cow. <laughs> I've got I've got kettlebells right next to me. Yeah. What do you do? Put them in your butt? <laughs> fucking door. Don't shit talk me, bitch. I've been fucking doing it. I've been fucking doing it. Like I do 50 push-ups a day. Well, typically, and, and that's not a lot, but it's a lot to me, you know, and I'm getting better at it slowly, but surely I'm getting better at it. Okay. It's not, I don't have to be the, you know, and this is, look, you can make fun of me right now. You know what? 80 pounds is what I can bench now. That's big for me. That's not a lot, but that's big for Ooh, me. That's big 80 for me. 80 pounds. I weigh 150 pounds. Okay. I'm basically an ant. You know, it fucking rules. All right. I'm working yeah, it now out. I'm, now I realize, yeah, you're five foot two. So, yeah. yeah. That is well, I'm five foot, I'm five foot six. <laughs> you're bald. You're fucking bald. <laughs> Brian, I can grow my hair out anytime. You'll still be five foot two. You couldn't grow your hair out at any time. It would come out like fucking Elon Musk's old head. <laughs> and you'll never be as successful as Elon Musk. I, on the other hand, I'm okay with not being successful with Elon Musk because I've never tried to do anything, but I do. I am telling you, I'm keeping with it. I like it. I like doing it. And you know what? I When I'm, when my biceps are this big, I'm going to come over there and put one of them right around your fucking dick and pop it off. I'm going to, I'm going to squeeze it off like a fucking pair of scissors. All right. No more fucking penis for you. Mash it. I'll mash your balls like tomatoes. Fucking dickhead. You just shit talk me, motherfucker. I'm putting in the work. Where's fat forny over here? <laughs> Kettlebells. More like fucking genital fucking warts, dickhead. Got <laughs> fucking AIDS. Chlamydia <laughs> fucking ridden syphilis faggot. Bald you, fucking You look like a penis. <laughs> dickhead. And fucking shit talk me, Matt. We're supposed to help each other, dude. I'm supposed to be like kettlebells. Yeah, hell yeah, do it. And you're like, oh, you know what? Uh, you know, don't be a hater, dude. Be a participator. All right. You need to get in on the ground floor of this business because I'm going to be Dwayne the Rock Johnson. All right. I'm going to go be a pro wrestler. All right. That's what I'm going to do. You, what are you going to do? Publish some gay books by a bunch of really smart, talented people? Fucking nerd. I'm going to be a pro wrestler. I'm going to be a luchador, dude. I'm five foot six. I'm going to be Rey Mysterio Jr., bitch. I'm going to be putting on a mask, crawling up your butthole, making you do stuff. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, speechless. That's what I thought. <laughs> Fucking dickhead. Be supportive. Be a friend. 
I'm, I'm happy you're doing it. I just want to see if you actually, you know, will actually follow through. I've been following through for like I didn't even well, tell well, people. I, I, I should probably ask the obvious question: What inspired you to get doing this? Oh, I don't know. The mirrors. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't. I mean, that that wasn't a motivation like a year it ago. It literally or two was. Years ago. It was literally mirrors. I like. I was like, oh god, I'm gonna be 34 in September, and I like looked at my weird shape. You know, like I'm just like, uh, whoop. I like. I look like a lowercase b. You know, so I just was like, "Oh, this is something we got to." Well, do you've you've, about you've made excuses for your fat ass in this for the longest time. Yeah, I know, and I needed to stop doing it. You know, people can change. All right, Christopher Matthias, people can change. Oh, that's a low blow. Yeah, well, you know what? At least it wasn't as low as you just blow. You know what? You blow, dudes. Fuck you. <laughs> Fucking dickhead. You know, I don't know. I yeah, it's I don't know. I'm shaped like a lowercase b, so I was like, eh, it's time to become an uppercase b, and I'm gonna fucking I don't I don't know. Those will be my pectorals, I guess. But yeah, no, it's uh, I've also been doing intermittent fasting for like a couple months now. Uh, oh, that's I don't, cool. Yeah, I don't eat past uh, fucking nine o'clock, and I don't eat till eleven. You know, I have nothing but water. I assume you don't time. drink it during those periods either, unless I'm on a bender. No, uh, but like if I am drinking. You know, I will, but like if I don't, uh, like if I'm doing like a normal day, nope, I'm done at uh, uh, I'm done at nine and I don't do anything until 11. And usually, well, after 11, I won't eat. Like, I usually will eat about one meal a day around like three o'clock, but I also eat very terribly during that time. Uh, like you know, the other day I got a Taco Bell five dollar box thing, which was just incredible. And I, 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 you know, all the shit talking aside, I am happy for you. Yeah, dude, I'm fucking doing it. This is the this is this is it. This is me now. This is what I'm gonna do, and I will never be a big fit guy, but hopefully you can be a small be a fit little, guy. Hopefully, I'll be a little less fat, you know, because this is ridiculous. I used to I used to have a chin, you know, and then now what is that? What is this? This is thirty, is what this is, and I'm gonna be thirty four. So it's like, ugh, gotta do something about that. Gotta thin that out, cause see, you you can see. I've got the butt chin. You know, I got the dimple right there, dude. The ladies love the dimple. But you got the you know, Jay Leno chin. Yeah. You know, and like, so I got to bring it out. I got to bring it out. I got to, you know, I got to become who I am, as uh, Friedrich Nietzsche and Richard Spencer said. Uh, <laughs> it's hilarious to me that people never caught on that, like, that whole MPI uh, bullshit, it, like, become who you are. It's like, that's, I didn't know at the time. And I'm like, that's, that's Nietzsche. It's just that's just Nietzsche, you know. Richard Spencer's a faggot. I just want to go ahead and say that again. I I don't know what he's doing, but I just want to go ahead and throw that one out there again. Richard Spencer is a faggot, and he shouldn't co-opt Friedrich Nietzsche uh, for his gay bullshit ever. Biden voting fucking. I'm gonna say the N word. Uh, I was about to say maybe he's dead, but like if he was dead, we wouldn't nah, worry about dead. it. Yeah, I don't want him to die or anything like that. I mean, that's fucked up, you know. He's not. He's never personally harmed me. I just think he's wrong about literally everything. Uh, yeah, I don't want him to die or anything. Good God, I don't hate him that much. I, I don't even hate him. I just think he's stupid. Uh, he probably thinks have, I'm stupid. I want him to have a long and miserable life. I don't even want that. I hope he has a fucking short and happy life. Uh, like everybody, I wish you all a short and happy life. Uh, but yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't hate him that much. You got more history with him than I did, though. Uh. I, he probably doesn't even know who I am. Um, yeah, I just, I think he's a fucking retard. <laughs> yeah. I think he's a stupid person. <laughs> but I think about that all of the alt right. Like, what a weird crowd. You know, it's not a thing anymore. It's a. Uh, they're they're, they're going to try and make guys. it a thing. Uh, what? They're trying to, they're going to try and make it a thing again because uh, what's his face mm. is on the back? They are 100% going to try to make it a thing again. Uh, we're getting a, you know, we're getting a face, throwback. I, What's his face? I can't. I, I, his well, name is uh, me What's right his now. face? Not Christopher Cantwell because he's in prison. Not so, him. No, the other fat fed. Hi, Buck. There you go. There you go. Hi, yeah. Buck. Yeah, he's yeah. he's making a comeback. He's he's bringing he's bringing no, he's Trad Worker back. No, he's not. <laughs> he went on CNN and said he was going to do it. Uh why are they? Well, I was going to say, why are they letting him on CNN? But it's like, that's what CNN peddles in is, is outrage porn. Um, 
Stop watching the media. Even Tucker Carlson. Stop watching Tucker Carlson. Stop watching the media, guys. Stop watching it. You you should be able to figure out in general. What, read a headline, maybe read an article, and then like read two more things about it, and then go. Eh, I can't have an idea of what's happening, and then don't pay attention to that for a month because you probably already know what's going to happen with it, which is usually nothing or bad. All right, like it's that, like nothing or bad. You know, that's that's always the thing. Uh. Like the only reason that that uh, you know the Republicans need to get the House because they're a bunch of pieces of shit. The only reason they need to get the House is to just like stop all of it. One, they need to impeach Biden, but that's a political move, and they're going to do it if they get the House. They will do it. Uh, but that that's also bad because that's going to be every president now going forward the, for the rest of our lives is going to be impeached. But fine, whatever. It's I don't care. It doesn't affect me. But it's just to stop these like executive or these radical actions, things like that. Yeah. Uh but that's that's just how politics is going to be. Stop watching these fucking dickheads. Like Tucker Carlson is 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 nice. He's the he's the one that I like the most. But I don't even watch that fucking dickhead more than like the clips on YouTube. I don't tune into his fucking show anymore. Yes, well, yes, you should. You should. I'm like on CNN. I that's retarded. You should. You should. Matthew be... Heimbach is a nobody, dude. He's nobody. He, he also has a very impressive lisp now. Does he really? That's a what? Did he get punched too hard? I don't know what happened to him. You know, well, he wasn't prison. He wasn't prison for a while. So was he really? I didn't know that. Yeah, uh, he uh, after the uh, cut box incident, he uh, violated his parole with that. So he had to go to prison for 180 days. Wow, that's a shame. It's jail for 100 days. They didn't send him to prison, but uh, whatever. Oh, there's a big difference. He was he was in a he was he was he was in a cell with bars, and he wasn't allowed to leave. He was in a room with another bunch of fat white nationalists and black people for three months. That's what it was. Uh, you know, it doesn't sound great, but yeah. Why was he on CNN? What was he? What was he hawking? What are you fucking? He's, on, he's hawking the new shred worker. That's the whole he's thing a, now. Yeah. He's also, he's also calling for people to, uh, uh, and blank blank against politicians. I, what send emails to him? I that's what I think is a good idea, but no, I it's say, don't uh, even do that. Fuck it. I mean, like th these people are not going to listen to you, so fuck them. Like, don't even fucking give them the time of day. Just don't fucking don't even fucking vote anymore. Like, who cares, dude? Just like make money, be funny. That's the only thing just, that matters, dude. Just, just just sit in your bedroom with the lights off, jacking off the internet porn, and once you've that. exhausted, and once and once you've exhausted the last of your life force, just just take the gun out of the drawer and put it in your mouth. But first, remember to put all of your money into Bitcoin and send it to me. <laughs> so that's no, I, I wouldn't say that. I would just say like, I mean, like, am I wrong here? Don't pay attention to the fucking media. They're a bunch of lying pieces of shit all the time. They're trying to get you all riled up and shit. You know what's going on already. You don't need the fucking media to try to tell you anything. Do you know what flooded in China recently? That's news. That's what I care about. It flooded really bad in China. I care about that. I don't care about Nancy Pelosi's being gay again. Like, who gives a fuck? Like, did you know that uh, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is a fucking dumb bitch? Like, yeah, of course I know that. Who cares? Fuck them. I don't care about that. I don't care. Also, toilet water in the chat goes, this isn't right to Bryden. I don't know if he was saying that it's good or bad that it's not, but either way, you can fuck yourself. Uh, well, no, you can't. You, you're a good guy, probably. I don't know. He seems like a good person. Uh, right to Bryden. What, do you think people have a right to you? Well, no, that was the whole joke of it. It was like right, because it's like a right to, you know, like a right to something. So right to Bryden. And right, because I'm right wing. And then right to Bryden, because it was correct to me. The name is too clever, and I don't think anybody ever got it. It's too clever. Right to bribe. It's like how people will have some people will have emails like their name for you, like uh, you know, yeah, Alejandro. Except, for except you. mine was better because it had three fucking meetings. And it was a podcast that ran for like four years. So yeah, I don't know, Matt. Compare me to fucking somebody with a Yahoo account. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> fucking dickhead. <laughs> like I don't know. My podcast was so good that it pissed off the Huffington Post. Like, yeah, it was a good. It was a good fucking show, man. It was a good show. I missed well, that one. The, the bar for pissing off HuffPo is pretty low. These it days. is extremely low. All you have to do is just call somebody gay on Twitter and you're in an article. <laughs> it's, it's really bad. 
Yeah. Those people should be in jail. Uh, I don't know for what, but you can't arrest them for being ugly. <laughs> so, unfortunately. But, yeah, but we can't arrest them for being cringe either. Mm, there should be, like, a law <laughs> against being, like, just... Like, not against homosexuality, but <clears throat> being too fucking gay. <laughs> Like it'd be like, uh, I don't know. You're just too fucking gay, dude. We gotta the 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 fag homo distinction. Yeah, like the, well, yeah. It's like the no. friend, it's like the friend enemy distinction, but mm-hmm. more important. Well, no, I mean, because like the thing is, like Tim Dillon, hilarious comedian, homosexual, not a you fucking boomer. Holy shit! What? Mute your damn phone. I know I should have done that, but I'm getting a scam call right now, so I turned it off. Uh, no, there's a. I, I'll. Uh, yeah, I know. I know that was my bad. I'm a professional. I should have. I should have done that. I also usually keep my fucking phone muted anyway. But uh, yeah, I fucked up. The one time I fuck up, here's Matt. Yeah. See it. You know, uh, that's a terrible ringtone. Why don't you go fuck yourself? All right, change it to Paramore. That's a really good idea. I'm going to do that today, actually. Uh, but no, like. Tim Dillon, hilarious comedian. Gay man, not a faggot. Sean King, not a gay man. Complete faggot. It's the way that it is. Didn't he get bullied off Twitter recently? Yeah, yeah, finally, yeah. <laughs> He's white. He's white. He's a white man. He's one He's, of ours. You He's, know, white, I, he, he's whiter than the two of us. Mm-hmm. He's whiter than you, and you're positively red. Oh, yeah. Well, it's the fucking drinking and the Irish and the Dutch. And like, I, I, I just have bad genetics, bro. Uh, you know, got the rosacea thing going on. And like, all of this, it's, it's very flush. But, uh, yeah, I, that's, yeah. Sean King is white as fuck. And, like, the fact that he got away with it for so long and embezzled. Like, he's got more money than us. I guarantee it. He has to. Right? Am I wrong? Well, that's, that's that's not a huge accomplishment, but yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. I, I wasn't saying that. You know, it was a big deal, but but I mean, like, I guarantee Sean King has like a ha- oh, nice bro, real <laughs> real good. I'm gassy. Yeah, I know. I'm gassy. I'm gassy, Matt. I'm gassy, Matt. Uh, I've been yeah. farting like crazy this entire stream. Oh, me too. Yeah. Welcome to the fucking club, dude. It's called uh, 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 IBS. It's it's incredible. It's it's good. Sometimes I'll just like, pretty sure I pooped a little. Just go throughout the day. Like, eh, I'll just pretend it didn't happen. Uh, Christian style. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a guy. That's a guy, isn't he? Um, well, no, it's a lady now, I guess. Uh but yeah, I mean, like, I'm pretty sure Sean King's got plenty of money. You know, I'm sure he has a house with a pool and crap like that. He's doing better than we are. And he just built it all of the fact that he's just like, yo, I'm black. It's like, but you're not. You're just a white guy. You know, it's, but he had the right politics. So I don't know. It's weird. I mean, it is funny that people like, you know, have started to pick up on that call, you know, fucking Talcum X scam. Uh, you know, I, he did it for so long though. Like it's incredible. You know, I if I like he's not the only one who's pulled off this scam. Look up this congressman named GK Butterfield. Okay, that's such a great it, it, that sounds like I'm making fun of a black person. Just because, just look up look 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 at pictures of him. Oh yeah, that he that's a white man. He's black. He identifies as black though. Well, that's not true at all. That's a white man. <laughs> no, he looks like he would be a racist. Like he looks like an old era racist. This was actually that, that was actually a, a a bit on the Colbert report. He got interviewed there, and like uh, you know, the first part of it is Stephen Colbert is like, "Oh, I thought I was supposed to be talking to a black guy." <laughs> this is a white guy. This is just a white guy. That's that's not a black dude at all. That's a white man. Here's a picture. I found a picture of him next to Obama. Obama's black. This guy's a white dude. That's insane. Here's him next to a bunch of black children. 
they're black. He's not black. That is a white man. He has none of the features of a black man at all. That fucking rules. He's just I mean, a white guy. It's a scan that goes all the way back to Puddinghead Wilson. Okay, now you're just making shit up. <laughs> no, I'm not. Puddinghead Wilson was a novel by Mark Twain. It's about a uh, it's about a black woman who's only one thirty suit one 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 thirty second black. So she swaps her baby with like the her white master's baby, and then hijinks ensue because the black baby grows up thinking he's white, and the white baby grows up thinking he's black. Mark Twain ruled. <laughs> I haven't read enough of him, honestly. Uh, yeah, Mark Twain was like really good. I tell you, that shit rules. That's, he was uh, such an irascible prick. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't care if somebody's a prick. Honestly, I'm not. I'm not. I'm saying it's a good thing. It's part yeah. of why he's awesome. You know, it's like uh, you know, people were. I, I saw on the uh, uh, Terror House thing, people were posting about Bukowski the other day, and somebody complained about Bukowski. Uh, there was some. There was some bitch who like bought like a used copy of one of his books, and like it would have been owned by some woman who kept putting notes in it, like go to therapy, and you know. All this stuff. Why would he? Do, why would he do that? Why would he do that? He was just like a successful, fucking artistic, goddamn dude. Why women treat therapy like Catholics treat confession? Yeah, that's a really good way to put it. Yeah, no, I don't. I like. I I was gonna go to therapy, and then like they took a few months to get back to me, and then they like tried to call me the other day, and I was like, haha, I'm not gonna answer the phone and make them think that I killed myself for taking too long. I'll just. I, I don't need to go to therapy. I do podcasts. I do live streams. I say all of this stuff all the time. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. What am I got? What is some old Jewish woman going to tell me about myself that I haven't already fucking said before? I make my own discoveries all the time. I'm like, oh, wow. It turns out I fucking me and my dad do have a bad relationship. That doesn't make my life better. If anything, it makes it fucking worse. My real therapy is like. I, you know, I, 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 I delayed the book thing again. I'm waiting until September, uh, before I get into Hume. Uh, those, that's my therapy is like, you know, who's great. I know you hate him, but Schopenhauer, you know, that's therapy. I'm like, good. Somebody else had thought this before. I'm not learning anything from philosophy books. I'm just excited. Somebody else has already thought about this before. And it makes me feel better because I go, Oh, since the dawn of time, people have been sad. You know, it's, kiss my ass with fucking therapy it's, white women are the worst with that like you know the coolest way of therapy would be like tony soprano going in and be like so yeah it's fucking uh, i'm like sad all the time and shit like that that's not tony soprano at all uh sorry apologies to all the sopranos fans Jesus, that's almost as bad as my radio voice yeah it was really bad it was i it it, it came out it was the wrong guy i i did it wrong i just did a default italian uh, italian uh Hey, mama, default Italiano. Uh, but, you know, like, what am I supposed to fucking get from therapy, Matt? Like, give me a fucking break. Seriously. Like, therapy's stupid. Therapy's stupid. Therapy's for people that don't have podcasts. Therapy's for people that are, like, too cowardly to just say what they think. Because, like, the only thing you get from therapy is you talk a ton, and then you go, oh, mama mia, you know, and you figure it the fuck out. I do. I talk all the time. I figure things out all the time. I'll be talking to Erica in the living room, drunk as fuck, and I'll go, "Oh, that's why I'm like that," because I just talk. I don't need to pay some fucking dumbass woman to like listen to me. You know, that but, reminds me of something I wanted to bring up. Did you know there's a new game on Steam called Heal Hitler? No, what is that? Basically, you're a psychotherapist interviewing Hitler. And the goal okay. of the game is to keep him from becoming a murderous dictator by sure. analyzing his inner pain. I 100% am going to buy this right now. What It's I, on what, sale. It's on sale. Get it. I'm going to buy this right now. Unless it's like $15. I'm not going to pay that much for it. It's, it, it. it can't be that much. Like for me, it's like on sale for like two bucks. Oh, dude. Yeah, it's $5. I'm buying it right now. This is add to cart. I'm done. Five bucks. Are you serious? Yeah. Heal Hitler. I'm doing it. This is... I'm streaming this game. This is I 100% am buying this game. Uh, all right, and uh, yeah, we're done. Cost me 484 
yeah, I'm buying that. It would be great if it was 488, but you know, yeah, I yeah, I'm buying that game. I want to stop Hitler from being a fucking dickhead. That rules. That's what that fucking rules. Oh, can we break can we talk about this? Because this is fucking this has been bugging me since you sent me the uh uh the video or or I saw it on the terror house thing. That uh Capitol Police officer. Oh, who, the one who the one who claimed that uh, 20 people surrounded him yelling the N-word. Yeah, that didn't happen. It did not happen. Yeah. If it did, we would have seen video of it by now. It would be impossible to but... fucking cover up 20 people. Okay, maybe I could believe one person yelled it at you in passing. Yeah, I, I, not no, twenty. Probably a guy might have said something to him. I, I, I can, I can agree with that. Uh, you know, I, I'm sure some of the people that were at that riot were fucking racist. Uh, but yeah, that didn't, that didn't fucking happen. I mean, we would have seen video of it. Like, there's so much video of, of that thing. It was like, you know, that Simpsons episode. Whoa, I'm really glad we decided to film our crime, sc uh, crime spree. You know, like it's uh, there was there was no way that that happened and nobody caught it, even just tangentially on fucking, you know, something. We would have seen it, it would have been all over the news. There's no re there's no way that that happened like that. I, I'm sorry. I'm not denying this man's lived experience. I'm saying he's a fucking liar. I'm saying he completely made it up. I'm saying he. I'm saying he's hallucinating. No, I mean, I. I think he's just uh, being a fucking jerk. I think. He's well, I mean, lying. We've, I mean, one person might have said that to him, and they shouldn't have said it to him. But they're trying so desperately to make the Capitol riot a racist thing. It's not. It's not. It's not a racist thing. It was a dumb thing that these idiots did. Like, and they shouldn't have done it. They shouldn't have done it. Hundred percent. Shouldn't have done it. Uh but it wasn't racially motivated. It wasn't at all. Like it was not racially motivated. I well, I mean, we've proven that the Capitol Police aren't exactly our finest. I mean, there was the one guy who died of a heart attack the day afterwards. Yeah, well, didn't they give him like the you know the king's treatment of it all? Uh, it's you know, come on. I mean, this guy's just he's full of shit. They're fucking mall cops, is what they are. Yeah, I don't know. At least mall cops like catch people shoplifting, and you know. From what I've seen in videos, they take them back and they go, they have sex with them. It's porn. I'm I'm talking about porn. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Also, somebody said your friend got KMG to shout you out. Who's our friend? Uh, I think he's talking about James. Uh, yeah, KMG likes to act like he doesn't fucking know me. Uh, but that's fine. I love KMG. He rules. I'd love to have yeah, him on the show. He's a cool guy. He fucking rules, dude. Like he he's seriously like he's like a 180 year old fucking live streamer. He rules. Like he's great. But uh nine watching after 86 minutes, lol. Thanks, Dan Bingo. Don Bingo. That's true. But here's the thing, also, because hold on. Watch this. This is gonna be really funny. How do I do this? Um uh, Oh no, I can't ban him. Oh, hide user from the channel. Guess what? You know you never get to say anything again. Uh that's how I run my streams, Matt. That's how I run my streams, Matt. Um, I don't know why that's a bad thing. Nine people is great. And then we get to all the download guys tomorrow and you know, all these fucking douchebags that don't come and well, we're a lit podcast. I mean, for God's right. sakes, it's like we're not gonna, you know, have this amazing audience of like, oh, I don't know, of like a Bryden stream, you know. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm going to unban that. I'm not going to unban him. He can kiss my ass. But, uh, no, like that guy's a liar, dude. That guy's a fucking liar. Like you're just making that up. We would have seen that. It would have been on the news that fucking day. Had that happened. They were so quick to have footage. If that something like that, people surrounded him and were shouting the N word at him at a black police officer, that would have been on the news that fucking, and it should have, if it happened, that would have been bad. That never happened. Not in a million years did that fucking happen. The guy's a liar. He's full of shit. When they claim that the people in the in the Capitol were like shitting on the floor and there stuff. was a guy. There was a picture of. Uh, there was a video of somebody did shit on the floor. I haven't seen. I haven't seen the video of them shitting on the floor. But there was a a video of there was definitely poop on the really? floor. Really? That's fucking awesome. Yeah, that's what I said about it too. It's like that's hilarious. He's the only man who ever entered the Capitol with honest intentions. Yeah, just to shit on it. 
You know, like, I mean, that's why that man should be given a medal of honor because you know what? That is what, you know, that's what our representatives do every day is going shit on the floor. But uh, come on, too funny. But yeah, no, there is video of like there's poop like against the wall and on the floor. Somebody pressed their butt against the wall and took a dump. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like in a stairwell or some shit. But uh, like that, that fucking rules. That's just, that's hilarious. Like, don't do that. Obviously I'm not encouraging that. You should never do that. You should never do that to any wall or floor. Go to the bathroom. Don't poop on things. You know, plus you, plus you gotta ask yourself how he wiped afterwards. Oh, I'm sure he didn't. I'm sure he walked around with a poopy butt. You know, I, but it is hilarious as somebody, one of those fucking doofus retards, uh, went in there, just took a fucking dump on the wall. I mean, there's like streaks. Like they clearly put their asshole against the wall and shit. And it just, what are you doing? You know, that's what you did. What are you doing? At no point during any of the anger that I've ever had in my entire life have I gone, you know what I'm going to do? Take a dump. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Ah, oh, this shit's so funny, man. This shit's so funny. I don't know. But yeah, that guy's a liar. Like, he's completely making it up. I, I'm not off base, right? Like, he's completely making this he's up. We would have seen shit up. We would have seen video, right? I mean, nobody filmed this. Yeah, right. I like. I I'm not even saying that somebody didn't call him. You know, the N word. Maybe that happened, but it was not. People were not chanting "f that N word" at him. That was not. Or no, it was "boo effing N word." That that did not happen. That did not happen. It, not in a million years did that fucking happen. Um, if it wouldn't, if, if it was something that would, you know, wouldn't get us in trouble, I say we turn that into a drop. Yeah, I want to make it into a drop completely, like because it's the way you said it is so matter of factly, it's hilarious. Uh, but yeah, it just, that did not happen. Not in a million years did that fucking shit happen. We would have seen it by now. There was so many cameras there. Every all of it was live streamed by a bunch of fucking really stupid people. We would have seen it by now. And when I saw it, I would have been like, oh, shit, that's hilarious. I'm not saying I wouldn't laugh at it. I would have laughed my ass. It's wrong to do. But I still would have been like, that's so fucking funny. It, th this is not happening. We're just hearing about this now. It's a lie. It's a fucking lie. And you know what? Fuck everybody that went to the Capitol, too, by the way. Like, I, it, you know, it's a dumb fucking thing to do. That being said, trespassing. That's what I think they did. And, and they should, you know, you well, should I mean, get, just, you should yeah, get in trouble the, for trespassing. The, and the if Capitol you don't like the guy who stole the podium, you're in a lot of trouble, buddy. He was a he was a fellow Florida man. You stole well, the, you stole the podium? Oh, yeah, you can't do that. Nancy Pelosi's D laptop. Oh, you can't do that shit. You know, but like people that just wandered around because the cops let them in. It's trespassing, if that, you know, but yeah, you're not allowed to steal things or shit on the walls or anything like that. No, I, I, I don't care who it is. You're not allowed to do that. So those people should get into trouble. You know. Oh come on! I'm sure the capital has insurance. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It's you know you should get into trouble if you like break into places and upset stuff or shit on the walls. I got I got to find the video for you. It's so funny cuz it's like a video of somebody like walking up the stairs and they go, "Oh, dude, somebody shit on the wall." <laughs> it's just poop. Like it's I don't know why any what like that's Hey, he was just he was just expressing his displeasure. Oh, I know that's what he was doing, but like at what point are you so animalistic that you just put your ass cheeks against the wall and dump? Like that's <laughs> fucking weird like i it's the strangest thing like but that i that's the worst thing that happened that day besides like ashley babbitt got shot who shot ashley babbitt who shot ashley babbitt i think i know i think that uh i think that i know we can't say but you know they haven't said who shot her i think i know some people have told me who it might have been but who shot ashley babbitt that, I mean, it's a real question. Who the fuck shot out? I, I think everybody knows at this point. He was already doxxed. Yeah. Oh, immediately people found out uh, because they saw his hand with the bracelet. And 
And uh, he was a guy who insisted on carrying, uh, you know, on the floor and stuff like that. We know who it was. I forget. I think that guy also bragged about how he left a his service weapon in a bathroom and that he yeah. wouldn't face disciplinary action because he was so high up the chain. Yeah, yeah, it was that. So guy. basically, proving that again, the Capitol Police are a bunch of fucking retards. Well, I mean, they can't all be retards. There's got to be some of them that are like cool guys, you know. But they're probably, I mean, they're also cops in general, so they're probably not that cool guys. Like, the only good cop is not a cop anymore, and it's Donut Operator on YouTube, you know. Uh, besides that, I mean, like, I'm with it. Like, when they're like, all oh, cops are bastards, I'm like, yeah, they are. Fuck them. I don't, I'm not a big fan, you know. Uh, they stop you from peeing in parks. Like, you know, I don't know. They're fucking dickheads. Yeah, like, the cops, the cops, all these fucking idiot uh, right wing bootlickers were defending. Those were the same cops that were arresting people for going on the beach a year ago. Well, uh, yeah, exactly. You know, you know, when my fucking giving a fuck about the cops stopped was at Charlottesville because when they showed up to defend, uh, we thought to defend us from Antifa, they sent us right into Antifa. And I was like, oh, that's bad. Like, because we were chanting like, you know, blue lives matter, blue lives matter. Like people cared about the cops. They're like, good. Thank God the cops are here. This is a mess. Please do something about this. And they were like, yeah, we're going to gas you. You know, it was not good. So, so it was like, all right, cops are fucking faggots. You know, all co a, a calf, dude, all cops are faggots. Uh, I'm sure there's good ones. I mean, I've had to call the cops recently a few times and they've always been really nice. They have basically all told me, though, they're like, you should move out of this neighborhood. <laughs> Like, you're a white guy. You I've, I've run into good cops occasionally in some places, but yeah, yeah they're just I mean, dudes over, like everybody else. But like overall, job. I mean, overall, it's not exactly a trustworthy, you know, trustworthy business. Yeah, it's just not a good business. I mean, it's like car sales. They're basically car salesmen. You know, it's like <laughs> yeah, there's great ones, but yeah, you know, but I mean, there's great guys that are just like out there doing their jobs for sure. But I'm not gonna like back the blue, dude, because it's like they're just the enforcement of mass mandates and shit like that. You know, I've had a state trooper hand me a mask and like, you know, be a bully to me because I would what? put on a mask in a Publix. Yeah. You know, this was a year. Uh, this was a year ago. But yeah, I mean, I'd be tempted to just take the mask and stomp on it. But I was a fucking cop. I mean, you know, like he's allowed to beat me up. He's like he's the government's allowed use of violence. So, yeah, I'm not going to fight with a cop, dude. I'm not George Floyd. Well, I mean, I didn't say fight the cop. I just said step on the mask. Yeah, he would have Burn kicked me out of the store. He would have kicked me out of the store, buddy. Uh, oh, it was in a store. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I thought was, this was like on the street. Oh no, 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 no. This was I walked into a Publix, and uh, you know, he would. He, he's like, he was like on oh, his phone. Oh, this is in yeah. Florida because you mentioned that, like, you know, Florida. I've for said some it reason. before on this podcast. Well, I for, I I've forgotten about I forgot, but yeah, you mentioned that uh, cops and state troopers in Florida can like you know Moonlight. use their uniforms, work off duty as a uh, security. Yeah, yeah, which is like weird. Yeah, it's it shouldn't be a thing. It shouldn't be a thing. I mean, like I don't know. I like, dude. I don't think I I don't think my views are crazy. Like I I like I believe that all people should be treated equal under the law, and we should have as few laws as possible. You know, you're not allowed to kill people, but you are allowed to be a jerk. You know, like I would not want anybody to ever go to jail for telling me that they were going to kill me, you know, like standing in the street or something like that. If they did try to kill me or killed me, then yes, of obviously jail. But like if somebody's standing in the street and they're like, I'm going to fucking kill you. I'd be like, yeah, whatever, you dumb bitch. I, so you're, so you're, you're not a fan of Brandenburg v. Ohio, I'm guessing. What is that? Um, that established that saying something like that is actually illegal. Oh yeah. Menacing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, no. Imminent, imminent and uh, imminent lawless action. Yeah. That's bullshit. That's stupid. People should be allowed to threaten me all they want. <laughs> no, you should be able to make threats, but if you make good on those threats, that's when it's, you know, or if like, if you make those threats repeatedly over the course of a long period of time, then it becomes harassment. That makes sense. But if somebody is just out in the street and they're heated, you know, they're heated and they're just like, I'm going to fucking kill you. And then they don't, you know, they're just heated. Dude, that guy shouldn't go to jail. He's just being fucking, you know, he's being an asshole or he's just having a bad day or something. Brian, like I'm going to wait in the bushes outside your house and crack your knees with a fucking baseball bat. Great. And until I see you out in those bushes, uh, dead, 
Uh, <laughs> you know, it's not that big of a deal. Like, I believe I believe that people should be able to fucking the the majority of being alive is on your on your own. Like, I don't need the government or you know uh, any of this to like stop me from people being jerks or whatever. Like, I'll just be a jerk back. But when you do something to cause harm to somebody, that's when it's a fucking issue. That's when it's an issue. Or like when you make repeated threats and then it's like, okay, this guy clearly is going to be waiting out in my bushes or is waiting out in my bushes. That's when it becomes a fucking deal. Or he'll be right. waiting outside in the bushes as long as, as soon as he can afford a Greyhound ticket. Right. You know, I mean, something like that. Like if, if some guy's just heated in the street yelling at me or whatever, like I did, that guy doesn't deserve to go to jail. He's just mad, dude. Like, He's just having a moment. Like, why should he go to jail? Because he's fucking having a hated moment. <clears throat> like, he's probably an okay guy. You know, most of the people that have ever screamed at me and been assholes to me are probably an okay guy. They were just having a moment. And I didn't help it because I'm a fucking dickhead too. You know. Like, the only reason, like, if that ever happens, like, I, I call the police because, like, I'm being more of a dickhead. It's a retaliatory measure. You're like, oh, now you thought. Like the other day, I was going into a Publix, and uh, Erica dropped me off there. And then this guy uh, was like, oh, yeah, just stop wherever you want. You know, in front of the store where people stop all the time. I turn around and go, hey, fuck you. And he goes, oh, yeah, you little punk. Come here. So I walked straight towards him. He wasn't expecting. It was like a 50-year-old boomer guy. Big guy. 50 year old boomer, you know, piece of shit, dude. He goes, Yeah, you know, uh, you're lucky there's not so many people here. I'd break your nose. And I go, Oh, so now you're threatening me. Do you want to get picked? Now you get kicked out of the Publix. That's great. So I went over to the customer service desk and I told him, This guy just threatened to break my nose. And I had him removed from the Publix. I'm just being a dickhead and using bureaucracy against that guy. But he was probably just having a bad day, you know? And I made his day worse because he made my day worse. But it's like, we, his, it wife didn't it. his wife left it because his dick don't work. I mean, I, I don't know what happened. Maybe it, but maybe it was. I don't know what it was. Like, but he was obviously in a bad mood, and I just thought, well, you're being a fucking dickhead to me, so I'm gonna, you know, I'll escalate the situation to bureaucracy, and I had him removed from the Publix. So he had to go to another Publix to get his shopping done because he threatened to break my nose. He was not going to break my nose. He was a reasonable person, I'm sure. You know, had he not been, he would have broken my nose you know but this is this is what we do uh you know i i'm sure he was not, like erica it's funny she texted me she goes what the fuck was that <laughs> i'm like i don't know the psycho threat to beat me up but you know he had to go to another Publix, and and, and that's the way that it is because it was funny i walked over to the customer service desk and i looked right at him and i got hold on let me get it on camera here uh i go like I just smiled and pointed and then talked to the customer service people pointed at him and he was removed from, from the Publix. But, uh, you know, that's just what we do. There was no violence involved with that. That guy should not go to jail because he said he was going to break my nose and wouldn't do that. You know, he was just having a bad day and I made his day worse because I'm a jerk, but the guy shouldn't go to jail for that or anything. Like that's, if they would have asked me, do you want to press charges? I would have said, no, and just tell him to go to another Publix. Make him drive a fucking half mile down the road. You know, like that's reasonable in my opinion. Maybe I'm wrong. She's reasonable. Seems reasonable. I was going to be in that Publix. He decided he wanted to be removed from that Publix so he can drive a mile down the road to the other Publix. You know, and I don't know. I don't. I or just he can, don't, or I don't he can smoke some weed and calm down. Yeah, I mean, or he can just have a cigarette or we can just like have a beer and talk about it. I mean, but like, you know, nobody deserved to get beat up and nobody deserved to go to jail. You know, he's just having a bad day and I made it worse because I'm I thought it was funny to do. Like I literally one of my mottos since I've been like 18. Uh, well, no, I started comedy in 21. So so one of my mottos since I was like 21, 22 was never let life get in the way of a good punchline. And that means, you know, even if it's a stupid idea, if it's going to be funny, you got to do it. And I could have just left it alone, but I did that because it was the funniest thing to do. I got to smile at him and point to the customer service desk and nod my head and talk to them and have him removed. I could have got, just gotten over it, but I didn't. I did it because it was funny and I can now talk about it on a goddamn podcast. 
it's hilarious. I'll carry that story with me for a while and I'll talk about it probably three or more times. Uh, it was funny, you know, but that guy is, he's probably fine. He was just having a bad day. You know, it's, it's, it's not like shouldn't go to jail. <laughs> That's insane. People are allowed to get heated, dude. People are allowed to get heated, you know, as long as like they don't escalate it to like violence, you know, you're allowed to get heated. We all have bad days, man. I'm going to take advantage of stuff to threaten you on every show now. Go ahead. You're not going to fucking do anything to me. So like, that's fine. You I don't have care. no idea what I'm capable of. What? You're barely capable of fucking walking without a walker, you fucking fat ball prick. <laughs> like, <laughs> can't even hold your microphone without like it fucking up. I'm not really worried about what some white prick in Mexico is going to do to me. <laughs> Just yeah, there it goes again. There it goes again, Fatty Magoo. What, the mic? Mm-hmm. Hey, your fucking fat rolls are eating up that goddamn cable. <laughs> Is it okay now? Yeah, it sounds good now. You know, except for the fact that you're talking on it, you know. <laughs> well, I mean, you I'm gonna I'm I'm just you wait, man. I'm gonna get that apartment with the fucking podcasting studio. Yeah. Uh you have no idea what I'm capable of. I'm gonna go all the way. You're barely capable of doing a podcast. <laughs> And as far as you going all the way, you've only gone the way with all the way with maybe two women. So I, you know, I'm not really worried about, I'm not really worried about the things you say or do, Matt. Uh, and you know what? The thing is, like, if you were ever going to try to come and attack me, I could see you from a mile away. I'd be like, is that the penguin from Batman? What the hell is, you know, <laughs> you waddling your fucking dumbass ever reservoir, fucking dogs, dumbass tripping over shit. I, dude, I know we're never going to get to make it, but like we haven't said it on the, uh, on the cast. I remember, uh, telling you, uh, uh, cause we were supposed to hang out one time and we didn't get to, uh, how I want to remake the, you stumbling over the stair thing, but it's me walking towards you. That shit rules. That's such good. And that that's one be, of the, that would be amusing. Can, can we talk about that real quick? People I make guess. fun of you for that. People make fun of you for that shit, but you were doing exactly the right thing. You just walked the wrong way. <laughs> You were doing exactly the right thing. You were getting away from these people, not being violent, and recording them. And then you just happened to walk into a stair. It was it was so unfortunate. But, you know, you were doing the right thing. You did exactly what anybody should do in that situation. Uh, I also didn't get charges, which is what yeah. all these people who didn't do that same thing ended up happening to them. Exactly. You did exactly the right thing. You just happened to run into some stairs. Which was, it is classic. That's, I mean, it's super funny, but that could literally happen to any person at any time. I don't know why people were like so hard on you for it. It could literally happen to any person at any time. You did exactly the right thing. You know, that's what I mean. It's like, you, you let all these people talk shit, all that. Never violence, never violence. Like, that's the thing. Like, especially like the wig nats don't understand now. We are in fourth generational fucking war. Oh, was it fourth or fifth? Generational. Oh. Fourth generational fucking warfare. You have to look good. And optics is everything. You have, like don't go on baked Alaska streams and throw up Roman salutes. Doesn't matter how funny it it seems at the time. Don't do it. All right. Believe me, it set me back a lot. All right. But it's we are in fourth generational warfare. You need to look like the good guy at all times, and that means being nonviolent. You know. Like I hear people say, like uh, you know, nonviolence equals consent. That's bullshit. All right, that's that's a that's a fucking third generational warfare way of thinking. Who who who, who is whoever said that has never encountered the legal system? Yeah, they bought. Yeah, exactly. Can I, can, can I talk about this quickly? I, I, this is uh, this is uh, someone who I'm not going to name publicly, uh, but uh, a friend of mine. I don't want to say. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't want to say former friend. It was the uh, dashing rogue. Nah. Uh, I don't want to say former friend because, like, you know, we didn't have a falling out, but we just haven't spoken. The reason we haven't been spoken is because he's been in jail for four fucking years because about four years ago, um, he was accused of shooting some pimp. Oh, well, I mean, well, you can't do that. Seems like a self-defense case, but uh, yeah. you know, he was arrested for that. 
He is still you're going. You're not allowed to shoot people. You're not allowed to shoot people. Like I, I stand by. I, I, matter, a, matter, a, matter. For uh, like, I'm not for a lot of laws, but I'm for the not shooting people law. It was, it was self defense. Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't the know. point, the point, the point I'm getting at here. He's still in pretrial motions four years later because apparently Florida has no concept of the right to speedy trial. Oh um, yeah. No, 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 no. Did you know the the, the dickhead uh, that shot up that school, uh, the Parkland shooter? He still hasn't gone to trial. I'm not. I'm not shocked. Going knowing what my friend has gone through, and uh, my friend has, uh, you know, he he, was, he filed a petition with the court claiming that the detectives have falsified uh, police reports. They're withholding evidence. They yeah. wouldn't allow him to cross-examine the quote-unquote victim. You know, oh, to build yeah. his case. Basically, basically, he tried to act like a tough guy, and he's got and he, and he has gotten so fucked by the uh, the legal system. Well, yeah, no, you don't want to get caught up in in, in the legal system. Like, I mean, it's. It's not good. Have you ever have you ever been sued for something or whatever? I had to go through any of that. Like, uh, that's it's a it's a fucking nightmare. So like the criminal legal system, holy shit, it's even worse. Uh, yeah, yeah. Goddamn, four years, huh? He's been dealing with it. Four years, yeah, yeah. Up in up in northern Florida, uh, and even if he skates on the charge, um, he's still broke. His life is he's still you know, broke. He still had to pay for all this shit. Yeah, he has a public defender declared himself indigent to the court. Good luck getting a job of a four-year fucking uh, fucking uh, you know gap in your resume that was caused by you being in jail, and now you have a criminal Damn. criminal record. Yeah, no, I mean you, you don't know, be a tough guy. Don't be a tough guy. There's no reason to be a tough guy. Yeah, it's I don't know. I mean, like lift weights, fucking you know, eat good, and like I mean, be a tough guy. Don't don't take no shit from nobody, but like. Don't shoot people, you know, like I, it's, yeah, it's no good. Don't shoot people. Don't, you know, and try to just like avoid talking to people, quite frankly. Like it's, you know, if try you're to like, avoid just leaving your house. Yeah. Well, I just think like, I mean, if like, if something is a bad scene, if you get a, if you get a little sniff up your nose, you're like, I don't think this is going to go good. You should leave immediately. Trust your instincts. I believe in instincts. You know, it's funny. Like I believe in, 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 in biology to like such a huge extent that I don't even believe in free will. Uh, I believe in biology. You know, I, I, I think that your instincts will tell you if you ever get a hair up your ass of like, I don't think it's a good idea. Trust your instincts. I 100% trust my instincts at this point in my life. I, if something doesn't, I call it, if I don't want to do something, I don't do it. Uh, but you know, if you ever you get a hair up your ass about like, yeah, I don't really, then don't do it. Don't do it. Always do what you want to do and just go. Mm, yeah. If you're a smart and a compassionate person, you won't hurt people while you're doing that, but just always do what you want to do. If there's ever any like real, like, I mean, there's mitigated risk. Like if you're making a trade or something like that, like you can see, you know, you're like, eh, all right. But like, if there's like risk to self, uh, in like a, a way that's not, you know, completely, I'm kind of coming around to the mat way of things of like money is fake. But if there is, unless it's like a money thing, just don't fucking do it. Just don't ever do it. Don't ever do it. It's never steered anyone wrong to not do something. You know, am I wrong? No. Nah. Like, just don't do it. Like, I ever don't. It's not worth giving that guy the finger or honking at him and, and the thing. Don't get out of your car. Don't, you know, it just, there's no, it's, it's never ended well. Like, if you can ever be in a situation where you go, like, I think I've seen this on a live leak video, don't be in that situation ever. Like, like nonviolence is the key. Nonviolence is the fucking key to changing minds and hearts. That's it. Like that's we're fourth generational warfare. It is changing minds and uh, hearts and minds with nonviolence. You have to look good and you have to be right. And maybe in some cases, a little bit of a martyr, you know, but you gotta be right. And the thing is, I'm sorry. I think me and Matt kind of agree on most stuff politically, uh, but the only way we're ever going to get where we're going to be is by having more people. And you have to do that by being funny 
and you have to do that by being convincing. And I think that we have the truth on our side. That's why I don't like propaganda. Right-wing propaganda bullshit pisses me off. We don't need propaganda. We have the truth. I'm sorry. Look at the statistics. This stuff is real. Okay? What are the solutions to it? I'm tired of propaganda. I want solutions. I want people to have health care. I want there to be less crime. This is, these are not radical fucking ideas. And I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy, man. Maybe I'm like a little too on the sauce today. But this is the truth. This is the only thing that I care about as far as like politics goes is I want less crime. I want more health care. And, you know, I want uh, white people to be respected. You know, like we don't have to be the king of the crop or anything like that. I'm not I, I don't think anybody has ever said that. Well, some people have and they're, they're you know, terrible racist. But, you know, I'm tired of being called racist. I'm tired of, you know, all of this shit just because I <clears throat> I disagree that handouts are better than jobs. You know, I I like jobs. I want people to have jobs. I want people to be treated the same under the law, no matter who they are. These are radical ideas now. These are <clears throat> radical fucking ideas now, Matt. And I hate that. It's stupid. You there? I'm sorry. I I, I kind of yeah, I, I went hard. I'm sorry. I I, I just, I'm here. I'm just I'm just I'm just I just have uh, I just have tranny problems. Yeah. Uh, it's, I I don't know. I don't no, know. I get you. I get where you're coming from. It's just BS. These are not radical ideas. Like these are not radical ideas. They're not. This is stupid. I've heard radical ideas before, and a lot of them are dumb. You know, I just, it's annoying. It's annoying to me. You do like, like the radical idea that women are people. Well, that one's, I mean, that's just so dumb. Thank God for the trannies actually. You know, we got that one from New Zealand over there. He's going to kick some butt. Um, you know, I, I can't wait for that New Zealand weightlifting gold. Laurel Hubbard. That's, that's, that's my, uh, girl, right? Um, that rules. <laughs> That rules. I want so much more of that. I want trannies in fucking like all events. And we should force like uh uh female to male uh like a quota in the NBA. Just so like <laughs> I, I no, I want to see it. I just want to see girls get wrecked in every sport. Like that rules. Dudes rock. Dudes rights are trans rights. We're gonna, okay? we're, gonna we're gonna have to change the name of the of the WNBA to uh the PWBNBA. Well, what's that stand for? People with breasts. <laughs> people of breasts that ro- no you I got I got the idea. people of breasts is what I we got, call them now I got the idea because I was on genius for some reason looking at uh, the exegesis on St. Vincent lyrics and one of them notate, notated that she had designed a uh, uh, she had designed a guitar for people with breasts not women people with breasts well, what did it look like? I mean, I, that's interesting. Well, she plays it. It looks like a regular guitar. Yeah. I mean, I didn't think that, like, if you had titties, it would be that difficult to play guitar. Except that women are bad at guitar. So, yeah, I don't know. Uh, it probably is a little harder. I guess you got, like, titties in the way. Well, I mean, she's probably a bad case, case study for that because she's flat-chested. Oh, well, then what's the... Why do people do this shit? Why do I don't... Look, it's I don't know. I want to chat with you afterwards, but it's also been two hours and like we can't do another three hour fucking podcast. These are, people don't like this show enough to do two, three hours. Well, we've got we've got we've got a shocking number of live uh, live viewers right now. All right, you want to do Terror House news again while I go take a fucking pee? Let's just let's just close the show out. No, no, I want to keep going now. You've changed my mind. What? How did I change I, your you mind? Changed my, well, because you said that you're shocking number. It's shocking. You shocked me. You shocked me with all of that. Well, I, I, ex- so, I I I didn't realize how fucking drunk I am now at this point. I'm not slurring my words, am I? Uh, a little bit, a little bit. Okay, that's uh, it's pretty good. I've been. Uh, these are fucking. This eleven percent beer. It rules. Like it's called Dragon's Milk, and uh, the first time I had it, I was at a cigar bar, and the guy didn't tell me. I was like, oh, I guess I'll have like the stout. He didn't tell me it was eleven percent. So I drank like two of them, and I was like, well, I'm fucked up. <laughs> like I'm fucking drunk. Well, these are good. These are great. 
Well, I just want to close out the show because, like, I've got things to do. So, yeah. Well, I want to get the fucking. What are you going to do? Have sex with men, you fucking nerd, bitch, fucking faggot? (laughs) Fucking. No, I I tell you when the show is over. I, I am the head of terrorhousepress.com. And I have decided that all of our books now are gay porn. And we will actually make more money doing that, surprisingly. Wow. Difficult. Well, that's the way that it is. Look, I'm making big changes as the new CEO. I'm making big changes, Matt. Making big changes. One, we're going 100% gay porn instead of 25% gay porn. Have you read some of the shit that's on the site, by the way? Anybody who's listening to this? A lot of it is just fucking erotica. It's, it's, I, I don't know what is happening with the site. It's a lot of it is erotic shit. There's too much pro- sex. Do you have a problem with that? I, I you know, kind of. I'm a, I'm a good Christian Tea Party conservative. Are you a good Catholic boy? I am. I go to the fucking, uh, was it? Catholic mosque every day and I put my hat on and I go into that little box and I go, Hey, I make gay porn for a website. You know, that's <laughs> you guys are going to hate this, but uh, the Catholics can go ahead and take a dip. All right. I mean, Matt, I think Matt's like a Catholic or something. I don't know. I listen, it's voodoo. You guys just do voodoo, uh, but it's good. I'm glad we should have that, but nah, I'll read Freddie Nietzsche instead. Matt's the asshole that turned me on to Nietzsche to begin with. This is all your fault, actually. Yes. It's a, I was playing a Fahrenheit. Uh, what is it? What's that Fahrenheit game? The uh, David Cage game? That's that's what it's called, Fahrenheit. Oh, I thought it was, it was numbers after it, but that's the Michael Moore movie, Fahrenheit 9-11. Uh, yeah, I was playing Fahrenheit, and then I was like, ha, 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 Frederick Nietzsche, and you were like, you would like him. And that was two years ago. Almost three. And it was now, actually about a year and a half ago. I've got the uh, no, no, no. I've got the last uh, when I played it. It was 2019. It was January 2020. Bullshit. It was 20. I got the fucking uh, Steam thing up because I looked it up the other day, dickhead. You want me? You want me to fucking find the fucking message? You didn't say a message. It was uh, when I was streaming it. I think I'm pretty sure I sent this to you on Discord. Mm, I'm pretty sure that you said it when I was streaming. But the point is, regardless, it could have been two weeks ago. I don't care. The problem with it is that Matt turned me on into a terrible, terrible way. And then now I spend all of my time having gay sex. Well, I was doing that before. But, <laughs> you know, reading terrible books while i have gay sex best nietzsche's letters to mom and sis uh, uh yeah no uh yeah yeah his letters are weird he was a psycho you just found nietzsche a year ago that's college shit you're in your 20s that's what matt said um Toilet water. I'm going to do a stream after this, and you're welcome to come on and talk to me about philosophy because I know a ton more about it than you do. Um, I'm sorry that I got into it a little late because I was busy getting pussy, but uh, yeah, that's, that's <laughs> fine, you fucking nerd faggot. Like, oh, this is like, oh, it's like, all right, Nietzsche is something you find in your 20s. It's like, okay, do you understand it? <gasps> no. Do you not have any fucking idea what you're talking about? <gasps> of course you have no fucking idea what we're talking about. So, yeah, that's fine. He's not my main guy, but uh, yeah, no, let's do that. Let's do that! You fucking jackass motherfuckers. This is, by the way, if you like what I'm saying now, please come over to the Trovo. We're wrapping up the show. Please come over to the Trovo. Uh, not so much the D-Live. Oh, I won't be on D-Live today. Let's go to the, over to the Trovo.live slash Bryden great thing brad and proctor.com uh and uh i might maybe maybe making a twitter here at sometime soon just to talk about terror management theory uh we'll see how that goes and if i'm allowed to Bryden is also uh, featured on youpornegay.com i wish that i had those credits but uh i don't you can check me out on huffington post where they call me a neo-nazi 
Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, if you're in the Orlando area, uh, come and do some stand up with me. It'll be fun. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I think that's uh, it's kind of where we're at. And it's a perfect way to close out the show. Um, and you can find me at uh, mattforney.com. All my shit's in the description as well. Any Anything else you want to plug? Um, well, I mean, I would plug your mother's pussy, but I was there yesterday. Oh! I to Terror House Radio. <laughs> Radio. Oh, the king of zing. But uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Let's close it out. It's been it's been a good two hours. It's been good. I mean, it's been a month. You said since we did a show, so it's good. It's great. All that, all that good bottled night. up energy has to be ejaculated all over uh, the pavement. Yeah, we got a fucking no. This toilet water, little fucking faggot, dickhead. Uh, you want to talk shit? I'll do a stream afterwards. I'll talk to you about. Oh, this is something you should have found in your twenty. I'm sorry, dude. I was like getting high and being awesome and expanding my mind on my own through LSD. You're a fucking dweeb. You don't know anything. You're too stupid. It pisses me off, Matt. It pisses me off. You tried to say thing, say the same shit to me about like uh, Albert Camus. You tried to say the same. Bitch, I fucking, you know, good God. Pisses me off. Pisses me off. Sorry. That, like, oh, did you read something 10 years ago that you don't understand now as an adult? Great. Yeah, it's fucking, yeah, it's fucking incredible. Yeah, yeah, but anyway, yeah, go go check our shit out, and that'll do it for this episode of Terror House uh, Radio. Terror House Radio. Um, every just every check out, day we have sex together. Check out Terror House Magazine every day at Terror House Magazine. Books at Terror House Books, uh, Terror House Press dot com. Cookbooks social of media, com. Social media links in the description. Social dating links in the <laughs> description. <laughs> And of course, you can find every episode of the show oh, always God. every <laughs> at terrorhouseradio.com and bagitinword.com. Terrorhouse Radio step at the end is produced at by 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 midget retards by Terrorhouse <laughs> produced by Brian Proctor and presented by Katya Degg. By Intro music by Zero Pulse. That name sounds foreign. Illegitimate non copyright Illegitimate children that bang each other in Cest, West Virginia. Don't let the don't let the don't let the gay down. people fuck you in the ass. <laughs> I'm Matt Forney. I'm fat. Almost said the N word again. <laughs> With Brian Proctor. With we... Brian in the coolest penis in the world. <laughs> and we are we are gay. <laughs> <laughs>